Now is probably the moment you guys all been waiting for. Yeah, I'm sorry if it seems like I'm stalling this, but... It's time for us to, uh... Finish up the main story of Panacone. Continue the story at a specific location in the Revere Hotel. You wake up in a dream pool to find yourself back in the Revere Hotel. According to March 7, you've woken up this time from Ina's dream. The Celeron was sealed while you were out, and all the major lineages, except for the old family, are dealing with the aftermath. She also said that the family has invited the crew to the family's Radiant Feldspar as witnesses for an important meeting. High-end cruise ships, luxury banquets, now this is what a celebration banquet ought to look like. What else are you waiting for? Get ready to set off. Yeah, let's get back into main story right here. Okay, so yeah, from we last left it off, yeah, Sunday was stopped, and yeah, basically we stopped Eno's dream and everything, so now it's the epilogue of that. Wake up! Wake up! Uh. Hey! Wake up! The sun's frying your butt! The sun's not even in here, March, come on. <laughs> Who even says that anymore? <laughs> Are you okay? Can you hear me? I didn't hear a peep from your room, and it really freaked me out. Uh, am I daydreaming? Whoa, this conversation is such deja vu. Stop making such a big fuss. Whoa, this conversation is such deja vu. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you still half asleep or something? The Order's dream is over. <laughs> even though it's been a day... I still break into a sweat when I think about it. Our trailblazing expedition almost ended in Panacone. Also, side note, just I'm very much looking forward to Hot March 7th. Just the yeah, imaginary Hot March 7. I can't wait to see like her alternate form in uh, 2.4. I'm so jealous that you got a good night's sleep. I was traumatized and too scared to even close my eyes. I thought if I fell asleep, I'd never wake up again. What happened to Celeron? Where are the others? You have dark circles under your eyes. A natural beauty like me never has dark circles. <laughs> the Stellaron was sealed while you were sleeping. The ordinary people in Panacone have no idea what happened. They just feel like something's missing from their memories. The family's official statement was like... The Charmony Festival was attacked by an unidentified Stellaron and came to a halt. Uh. After all... They can't just reveal the truth about the Order. So again, we're gonna have to lie to the public, just like in Yurilu 6. Now, all the major lineages, except for the Oak family, are dealing with the aftermath. The family has invited the crew to the Radiant Feldspar as witnesses for an important meeting. Everyone's waiting for you, so hurry up and pack. We're leaving as soon as you're ready. Alright. Yes, here's hoping, here's hoping we get like a conclusion with like every single character. Because I know 2.2 is like kind of ended kind of abruptly. Well, I wouldn't say abruptly because, you know, it wasn't the ending. So here's hoping we wrap up some loose ends with like everybody, like Akron, Firefly, and Lax One and everything. And Boot Hill too. I, I want to know what that Oswaldo Snyder stuff is all about and Aventurine as well. All right, let's go. After all this craziness, nothing is better than staying safe in reality. Uh, what is a Radiant uh, Feldspar? It's a massive airship, and it's awesome! I heard it's never shown to the public. Only VIP guests of the family get to board it and enjoy the breathtaking views of Panacone. Oh yeah, it's not the place Sparkle's trying to blow up or something? <laughs> the Iris family sent us a bunch of souvenirs. Fruit baskets, plus this fancy button model. Uh, After you're back on your feet... Oh uh, yeah, speaking off. of that, um... We are pretty much celebrities on the planet of festivities now. Much whatever you do, do not push that button. No, 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 no. Uh, tell me more about the current state of Panacone. The Stellaron was sealed while you were sleeping. The ordinary people in Panacone have no idea what happened. They just feel like something's missing from their memories. The family's official statement was like... Okay, you said this already. Now all the major lineage yeah, you said this already. What happened to you in Ina's dream? Why the sudden interest in that? Well, I was dragged into the sweet dream. I felt a cold tentacle diving into my memories. Oh boy. <laughs> but something else was there. So the tentacle suddenly disappeared. Please don't say tentacle. You're gonna give the, 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 the fan artist ideas. Stuffing my face with delicious food and going on a shopping spree. 
Sunday didn't seriously believe that was the life I wanted, right? <laughs> Breaking free from that cheesy illusion was just a piece of cake. <laughs> Alright, let's go meet up with the others. Yeah, let's go. We've got some time before we board the ship, so let's catch up with everyone at Dream Jolt Hostelry. In any case, enjoy this short but packed epilogue. I need to go. Uh, good luck. All right. See you around, Audrey. Hey, speaking of Firefly. How extravagant. Hey. Like Epsilon. How was it? Did it live up to your dreamscape expectations? You already <laughs> asked that when we first got here. Yeah, good lord. Um, I had no idea how much taller... Uh, Firefly was as compared to Silver Wolf. Silver Wolf is fucking short. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, and you said no back then. But after all this madness, I'd say you've grown fond of it. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't realize Firefly was like a whole head taller than Silver Wolf. <laughs> Just a heads up. You're still on the Bloodhound family's wanted list, so keep a low profile. And this time, it's Firefly in the picture, not Sam. Yeah. That's gotta be a whole new experience for you, right? Indeed. In Kafka's words, that's also a missing part of my life. Still, it'd be quite inconvenient if I can't move freely. Could you help me out, Silverwolf? I knew you'd say that. Don't worry. I've hacked all the systems and left no trace. Another side note, I, I really love that the the Silver no the, the Saturn Hunter like group here is not just like they're just colleagues working together like the IPC kind of is. I'm glad they're like somewhat like a family, like they care for each other and whatnot. Even Blade does care for the others to some degree. <laughs> don't do anything that may draw attention, and don't talk with guards. They might recognize you. Keep these two points in mind, and you can go where. Ever you want, unbothered. <laughs> Thank you. No problem, Miss Samuel. Samuel? <laughs> I love this fake name. Is that really the fake name you're going for? Sam Samuel? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you can do better than that. Here in Penacone, what will you do in your free time? I hear the Genius Society is here. How about we go stir up some excitement? Okay, come on, Silver Wolf. We cannot think about committing terrorism all the time. Well, you know, my script isn't over yet. I didn't bring you back to hear an answer like that. Don't worry. The script says that I'll experience three deaths, but also receive an unforgettable reward on the planet of festivities. Hmm. How will I know if I don't try? All possibilities exist until the outcome actually happens, right? You may not realize it, but you have a bad habit. Whenever you seem to be asking a question, you've already made up your mind, and no words will dissuade you. Anyway, Kafka asked me to pass on this message. <laughs> if you see anything fabulous in Penacone, <laughs> get one for me too. Just swipe my card, you know the pin. <laughs> I love Kafka being like the mom of the group. It's just like, oh, sweeties, if you see anything I like, please get them for me. She didn't specify anything, but I guess she means a dress, coat, sunglasses, or something else. <laughs> or, you know, guns. Than I do. Sure, I'll keep an eye out. There's tons of options at OT Mall. <gasps> Do you think she'll like trinkets, like, uh, hair accessories or brooches? Those sound more like something for young girls. Maybe you should keep them for yourself. <laughs> I, I Honestly, I can't see Kafka wearing a hairpin. Then, then that's just too weird in my mind. Oh, by the way, Blade didn't explicitly say it, but <laughs> I think he was trying to say something like, Temptation will show up again in Panacone. <laughs> He's always so subtle with his words. Got it. He was just worried about me. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> Relax, Silver Wolf. You know me. I love that all of them are just like a family together. 
I want to. I want to see moments of like all the the four stellar hunters together. Actually, right. I should do that actually because I think there may be an achievement for getting all of the four stellar hunters together. I mean, there's one for the Astro Express, so there's got to be one for the stellar hunters too, right? I won't do anything crazy. I just want to wander around and see more of the world for myself. <gasps> I want to buy some oat cake rolls. I've had a cake roll every day since I arrived in Penicone, <laughs> from the first day to the last. That's probably what I should have done for my summons, just buy a shit ton of oat cake rolls. But today, I'll buy two and give you one. And if you don't like them, I'll enjoy double the pleasure. Or I can bring one to Kafka, as she never refuses. <laughs> or maybe I'll give it to Blade. He'll appreciate it. I... Woody? What is this? This brown circular object. It looks disgusting. <laughs> I just imagine he'll react something like that. That's not written in the script, right? But as you see... Also, hey, X, welcome to the stream. Welcome. <laughs> I have added new footnotes to my destiny. And what were those? Oh, Topaz's POV. Okay. Okay, I guess we're getting the IPC welcome, side here. Director Topaz. The family ambassadors are still inside making preparations, but the big boss hasn't arrived yet. It'll be a while before the conference starts, I'm afraid. You know, part of me just kind of forgot about this whole POV thing, honestly, but kind of glad they're doing this. I'm guessing we're going to see Jade and Aventurine here in a sec. Probably Jade. Huh, quite a spectacle. The family really knows how to make things look impressive. I thought they would choose a more formal and low-key location for the conference. I didn't expect them to go with a luxury airship. About this, Director. I've asked around. This airship, named uh, the Radiant Feldspar, belongs to the Alfalfa family. The Alfalfa family. This conference between the That's IPC such a fun word to say, honestly. <laughs> ...will have a direct impact on Penacone's future. Such an important event should have been held at it. <sighs> well, somewhere secretive in the moment of Morning Dew, Hmm. The atmosphere here... It doesn't feel serious enough. Hmm. Well, what can you expect? You're having a meeting by the pool. If I'm right, this conference is probably just a prelude. Whoever organized it wants to assess the IPC stance beforehand. This influential figure either has their own ambitions and wants to reach a preliminary agreement, or they plan to put pressure on us to make us back off. Oh, your mind is always so sharp, Director Topaz. And when the big boss arrives, please remind her to be cautious and watch out for any traps. Hmm, the big boss, you say? <laughs> Thank you for the reminder, but I don't think that will be necessary. When she's at the table, it's the others who need to be cautious. Just tell everyone on our team to stay focused on their tasks and not worry about the negotiations. Oh, got it. I'll do it right away. Speaking of which, where's Numphy? Oh, and uh, one more thing. Don't call Miss Jade Big Boss yep. <laughs> in front of her. Or there will be serious consequences. I mean, really serious. Uh, uh, got it. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder, Director. There she is. Topaz the Aviator. What the fuck? <laughs> huh? Um... Uh, what's happening here? Uh, I? <laughs> um, why are there, what? <laughs> why are Trotters just enjoying the pool here? <laughs> Numphy, are these your siblings? <laughs> what? <laughs> why is this one just staring at the wall? <laughs> why is this one just curled into a ball right here? I, I, I can't attack them. <laughs> Yeah, what? What are these guys doing here? Oh, the, I didn't even see that one up there. That one's just standing on the bubble. Holy shit. Hi. <laughs> Did Nuffy bring his family here? Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> oh, I want to take a picture of these guys so badly. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Might as well. Since we're here. You never know when they'll come back and everything. Uh, Hang on. Let me... Um, Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Actually, no, let's take it more. Let, yeah, let's take this more at a better angle. Like, right here. 
<laughs> yeah, they're just fucking chilling right here. Hang on. Zoom in. Move the camera. Uh, face the camera. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's good enough for me. <laughs> yeah, what are- I have no idea what these guys are doing here, but they're adorable, so who cares? Alright, come on, Numpy. We got better things to do. Oh, I thought these guys were voiced for some reason. <laughs> I tripped and fell right here. Oh god, he's British. Let's get away from him. Damn, do look at this place. Hang on, let me look around for a bit. See if there's any, like, chests I can open or anything. Okay. Oh, no, I can't explore that area just yet. Yep. Speaking of which, there he is. Okay, I was expecting Nubby to, like, find something. Also, hey, Birdie. Get out of there. Get out. That's another thing, too. I, I still need to hunt on the birdies of, like, all the, uh, all the map. So I haven't f found them all just yet. Oh, God. Numpy, wait. Uh. Oh, no. <laughs> Numpy stuck on the child. Well, damn. Also, there's this ominous door down here. Uh, that can't be opened. Oh, there's two doors. Okay. That's gonna be openable at some point, I hope. Okay, but let's, uh, go take the elevator down. Actually, what's the view from here? Oh, it's just very, very much foggy. Eh, not as great as... What the hell? I see a balloon down there, and also a giant... Like, feather. Okay, I need to take the elevator down to see that. <laughs> Alright, come on, numpers. Stop looking at your siblings. <laughs> we gotta go. None of the important Did you forget the Gets of Odyssey? Yeah, I didn't forget it. Um, I claimed mine today. Have arrived yet. <laughs> Looks like the conference won't be starting for a while. Also, I should probably switch out the team right here. If I'm not gonna have, um I mean I'm assuming we're not gonna battle with a topaz, but I might as well bring back Karma Trailblazer anyways. Such a bustling place. I think I'll take a little walk around. Well, uh yeah, let me get the space anchor first things first. Hey Numphy, is there any chests in the area? Yep. Ah, I see one. Oh, he's going upstairs. Okay, hang on. Wait for me! Where are you going? Not Holy shit, <laughs> Nuffy's bolting. Where are you going? Oh, up there, okay. Uh, how many chests are there in this area? 18, okay, that's not that, that's not too much. <laughs> Nuffy's just going at it. Holy shit, he's found another one. This little fella's working overtime. Hey, come back here. Okay, that's another one. Uh, do these doors open? No, they do not. Uh, all these doors don't open, I assume. Okay, let's get, let's get back on track here. Watch yourselves in front of the IPC. Don't you dare. Greetings, madame. What can I do for you? Hello. Could you tell me more about the Radiant Feldsvar? I assume you are the ambassador of the IPC Strategic Investment Department. It's my honor to assist you. The Radiant Felspar is owned by Mr. Odie Alfalfa, head of the Alfalfa family. Mr. Alfalfa invested a significant amount in building this luxurious airship an Ember era ago, and it has been sailing across the 12 hours of the dreamscape ever since. Oh, so it's owned by old Odie himself. Mm. No wonder the ship is so lavishly decorated. Indeed, Mr. Alfalfa has impeccable taste. Only the most prestigious guests are invited by the Alfalfa family to board this airship. Please allow me to continue my introduction. The Radiant Felspar had been cruising over the Sea of Dreams in Penacony for an entire Ember era. But its voyage was temporarily halted due to the recent reverberation. Reverberation? Hmm. <laughs> Such a formal way Yeah. Of really I would not describe this as a way. reverberation. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. Please continue. <clears throat> Following the previous reverberation in the sweet dream, the Radiant Felspar had to suspend its voyage temporarily. Thankfully, the factors that disrupted the dreamscape have been resolved. However, due to 
well, certain special reasons. The Charmony Festival, originally scheduled at the Panacone Grand Theater, had to be temporarily postponed. Hmm. I wonder if that's the case, if we are going to get it, like, in the future, like, maybe as an event or something. So, Mr. Alfalfa... The Charmony Festival, I mean. ...relocating the Charmony Festival to the Radiant Felspar. Taking this opportunity to announce the resumption of the airship's voyage. Ah, well, that would meet the family's needs and also create momentum for Mr. Oh no, Alfalfa no, 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 wait. Quite fitting for a legendary tycoon like him. Right, it's continuing, but it on, but on the ship and not. Yeah, okay, <laughs> my Thank bad. For explaining that it, it is happening in this uh, this story, I believe. Okay. Uh, what about you, families? Actually, these doors are open. Hang on a minute here. You know what that means? I'm gonna go robbing. Oh, this is like, <laughs> this looks like a little birthday room. All the balloons and everything. And what's over in this door too? Another one? Yep, I see it. Ooh, oh, yeah, and I'm one of these clock puzzles. Uh, I'll do those later. Don't want to take up too much time here. Okay, let's uh, eat some good old donuts. Aw, <laughs> eat up, Numpy. Actually, can, can you eat donuts? Oh, are you hungry, Numpy? Hmm, food in the dream. Uh, shouldn't taste bad, right? Uh, toss a potato fry sundae to Numpy. Toss an oat cake roll to Numpy. Toss a float this burger to Numpy. I'll give you an oat cake roll. Numpy, yes. Eat up. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hey, actually, have you guys seen that there's, like, official Numfy plushies out now? I want one. <laughs> I absolutely want one. I want a Numfy plushie. <laughs> actually, wait, are they official or are they non-official? I don't care. I want a Numfy plushie. <laughs> actually, eating the oat cake rolls, Numfy seems to be a bit uncomfortable. Aww. Ooh. Oops. Not to your liking, huh? Aww. Oh, sorry. I'll treat you to a nice meal once we get back to reality. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you'd like them because Firefly liked them. <laughs> Damn, can I feed you something else? No, I can't. <laughs> I can't just keep feeding Numpy. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, pfft. I just realized what those were. How many centuries would it take to press them all? Uh, oh, hey. The family's guard. Hi, Sparkle. Huh. Didn't expect those pooches to actually recycle them all. Hey, d d guy, you have a oddly feminine voice. Huh? What are these? <clears throat> For your safety, please stay away from those objects. <laughs> For my safety? Are these buttons something dangerous? Not exactly. Lately, there's been a prankster in the sweet dream who's been handing out strange button devices to anyone he meets. Yeah, he. <laughs> Way to throw it off your trail, Sparkle. <laughs> According to those involved, he said something like, Just press this button and all of Panacone will explode! Luckily, no one believed him. Still, the Bloodhound family collected these buttons just to be on the safe side. Sparkle's gonna, like, push them all at some point. I'm just calling it. <laughs> Haven't the hounds caught the culprit yet? Has anyone actually tried... Hasn't anyone actually tried pressing it? What will happen if you press it? Hasn't anyone actually tried? I'd expect at least one person to give it a, a go. Well, perhaps you don't know much about Panacone? All the guests here have one thing in common. They're terrified of death. Hmm. Anyway, the family will deal with these things. Please, kindly keep your distance. Okay. <laughs> well, we had a fun time here, didn't we, Numfy? Meanwhile, did your... Did this man claim your FTP status yet? Uh, no. Robin claimed my FTP status. Yeah, I stopped being FTP ever since Robin's banner. Hello? Up oh, is, uh, this is where we're gonna get the, uh, good old sapphic cutscene? <laughs> Talent motivation department? Again? Internal review? Will it ever end? Uh... I'm working on a major project. I don't have time to squabble with you guys. I... <laughs> the way I handled the Urillo case was approved by senior management, and all of the project logs and calls are complete. Can't you check on them yourselves? I just don't understand. 
Why are you so fixated on this minor case and constantly escalating it? I... Seriously, what's your purpose? Who's she talking to? Sounds exhausting. Oh. Why not just hang up? Oh, boy. <laughs> In my opinion. Oh boy. <laughs> Miss Jade. Fall of ice in exchange for the astral experiences. Good favor. Oh god, now he's afraid of her. That's not a bad deal. What a fucking shot. Holy. <laughs> it's been a while, little Yelena. I've been looking forward to working with you. Oh god, I can already hear Mina and all the Sapphix out there screaming their heads off. <laughs> you can tell me anything. Just like old times. Ah, it's been a while, Madam Jade. I'm honored to have the opportunity to work with you. You're still so formal, aren't you? Forget about the hierarchy and treat me as your equal. <laughs> no need for unnecessary titles like Madam. I can already hear Mina screaming her fucking head off. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it might take some time to get used to that. After all... You are a senior. Also, yeah, I love that. Yeah, Yelena, by the way, that's a real name. Tobas's real name. Well, now that we're both members of the Ten Stone Hearts, I need you to be at your best. Especially since the upcoming negotiations leave no room for error. As sharp as you are, I'm sure you've figured out the true purpose of this conference, right? I believe old Oti has taken it upon himself to test our limits before the official negotiations between the IPC and Panacone. That's true, and it works in our favor. Do you know why? If we can reach some sort of agreement with old Oti beforehand, and gauge our opponent's boundaries, our future negotiations will go much more smoothly. That's the obvious benefit. Exactly. And the hidden benefit is that as the head of the Alfalfa family, his actions suggest that the five lineages might not be as united as the Odes of Harmony would suggest. Hmm. As long as the influence of Harmony hasn't completely permeated their core, personal desires will always have their way. Hmm. Thankfully, influential figures in Panacone haven't entirely suppressed their own desires. It's similar to the power struggles within the IPC, the supposed all-for-one philosophy shared by the five lineages. <laughs> it's just a slogan now that the Dream Master has gone. After the downfall of the Yoke family, old Oti's faction became the dominant force in Panacone. Even if we consider only the succession order, he's the longest serving and most senior among all the family heads. Yes, that's exactly why we need to handle the conference following an agreed-upon strategy. It's like... Playing a game of chess, where every move needs to be carefully thought out. Absolutely. The three steps of negotiation. Listen, test, and strike. That's what you taught me. Hmm. Yeah, I really wonder. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> how many of the IPC members were, like, raised by Jade? Because it seems like Jade, like, took care of both Topaz and Venturine. Took care for Venturine is a word, but she kind of kept a Venturine for a while before, you know, making him uh, one of the ten stone hearts. Pretty clear. Although, you seem to have changed the order in the Yarilo case. <laughs> that was based on my personal experience. I, I apologize for interrupting your conversation, but the family head is ready to meet the ambassadors from the Strategic Investment Department. Time to get to work. Let's prepare ourselves and meet that esteemed supporting actor. Basically, she scouts talent on behalf of Diamond, yet she did very well. Ah, I see. Remember, our goal is to create an opportunity for the IPC to enter Penacony. Aventurine has already made a small opening. And you and I, we're going to tear it wide open. Oh boy, that's uh, not good. <laughs> not, that's not good for all, Panacone. Anything in the IPC is just bad news. Oh boy. <laughs> this is how I negotiate. Put your hands up, die! Okay. What the fuck? Welcome aboard my ship. 
The oh wait, have we seen this guy in like the stickers? Charming ladies. Old OT, what the? Okay, he's an elf. <laughs> what? Please have a seat. Oh, what the heck Let's is this guy? Pleasant conversation. I was not expecting him to be designed like that. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Yeah, wait, didn't we see him before in, like, one of the stickers? Oh, wait, I can't rip, whip out my stickers right here. I thought he, she, he was gonna have, like, a, the generic NPC design. I did not expect him to, to look like that. <laughs> what? Free stuff. Also, oh, OT, don't mind me. I'm just gonna go rob your ship real quick. These chests are mine. Oh, wait, there's a puzzle here. Oh, behind the wall, which I can't get to. <laughs> He's an ancient Pepeshi. I can, I can actually see that. Holy shit. He must be old as fuck then. Uh, yeah, Jade. Holy shit. I did not expect him to look like that. Oh, wait. Oh, we're actually walking alongside Jade. Hey. Oh, slow like. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Yeah, she, he seems like a Legend of Zelda character. Forgive I was gonna say. Lack of attentiveness that might have led to a lengthy wait outside. No problem at all, Mr. Alfalfa. It's my honor to meet you in person. You may not be aware, but the book Odi Alfalfa, the biography, is a must-read for all Strategic Investment Department employees. After all, to many, you are the legendary figure who single-handedly built the Panacone economy. <laughs> I expected no less. Oh, yeah, he has a little, Stone like, ball in his head. Yeah, he's a Pepeshi. Holy crap. <laughs> You're definitely skilled in the art of conversation. He looks like some... He looks like he would come out if I, like, rub a GD bottle, like, hard enough. <laughs> I always enjoy talking to smart people because we don't have to beat around the bush. We can just get straight to the point instead. Since I invited you IPC ambassadors on board, I'm sure you've figured out the topic I'd like to discuss, yes? Yes? The future of Panacone, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. <laughs> Precisely. Those few words represent a terribly complicated situation indeed. Let's take that golden-haired guy who's not showing up for Oh, yeah! Uh -huh. He put in great effort and almost got himself killed. But what was it all for? Wasn't it eventually to create an opportunity for you IPC to regain control of the precious Astana? Oh, <laughs> he knows. The wisdom and experience you've accumulated over ten Amber Arrows ten? is really impressive. That's how old he is? Good lord! This man's older than some some of the eons. What? <laughs> Let's assume your assumptions are correct, Mr. Alfalfa. How would you respond to the IPC's actions? I appreciate your composure, Miss Jade. You must have witnessed much in your worldly experiences. However, perhaps you don't know much about Penacony. <laughs> Old Oti won't sit idly by when faced with a greedy wolf. No, oh, he's calling them out. Oh. Hmm. Well. Seems we're at an impasse. <laughs> Please, go ahead. I'm all ears. <laughs> then I'll be straightforward. I requested this meeting before the official conference to dissuade the Strategic Investment Department from trying to lay a finger on Penacone. If you back off now, you can make a smooth exit and mm. prevent the IPC from losing face during more important negotiations. Ooh, he's threatening them. One of them. our P-45 executives was attacked and nearly killed in the dreamscape. The IPC can't simply ignore this incident. Moreover, considering the turbulence during the Charmony Festival, Panacone's credibility has taken a hit in the public's eyes. Despite your determined attitude, the issues plaguing Panacone are real, are they not? Oh uh, yeah. <gasps> you know, with the sound being powering the entire free, thing Mr. and whatnot. Well, but let's not forget that this is the realm of dreams. If you want to succeed here, you need ambition and unconventional thinking. See, the one thing is, 
the, yeah, the, we know the IPC is bad, and they're probably gonna like take advantage of Panicon in every single way. But at the same time, the family's not entirely good either. At least I'm not sure if OT's on the morally good side or not, because the family have committed a bunch of great sins, you know, like hiding the fact that uh, people were getting killed in Dreamscape. Curious about how I plan to respond to the IPC? Not to mention, you know, the well, rims of the Order looking the about them. My actions will help Panaconi take a significant step Whoa, forward cool by shot. listing and going public. Going public? He, what, he plans to reveal everything? If I'm not mistaken, you want to bypass the- Never mind, that's not what he meant. <laughs> and go public on a universal scale. Precisely. Instead of watching the IPC gnaw away at Panaconi, I'd prefer to open the doors of the sweet dreams to of the, the entire universe. Starting today, anyone in the cosmos can become a shareholder of the land of the dreams. This is the path of harmony I'll choose. <laughs> Wait, so what? This reform should have been implemented earlier, but unfortunately, the Oak family were a bunch of blockheads blinded by order. <laughs> Their level of intellectual flexibility doesn't even come close to an old fellow like me. Being a private company is going public, which means people are going to do shareholders. At most, it's views as, as, as a risky, bold proposition. Yeah, that's what I'm. Wow, what? Thanks to the little. Why would he do that? Reverberation earlier. The biggest obstacle between me and my reforms has been eliminated. <laughs> Even the test the IPC that much, he would do that. The Alfalfa family will publicize the financial results of Sweet Dream Paradise, so that the entire universe can see that, despite the catastrophe. Panaconi still holds immense potential and opportunities, and that the family remains confident in its future. Hmm. hmm. Well, I guess on the one upside, the IPC are losing. Hmm. Yeah, it means uh, anyone from the universe can be a shareholder of or for Panaconi, and when sure the IPC won't be able to claim Panaconi. Yeah, right. Crisis and opportunity are two sides of the same coin. So, you've been waiting for the right moment for Panaconi to regain the spotlight. And if Panaconi should seize this opportunity to overcome adversity, even if the IPC tries to intervene, every move we make will be scrutinized by trillions of people. <laughs> Now I'm convinced that you've indeed familiarized yourself with my biography, Miss Jade. So, about your next move. Mm. Please, consider it carefully. Indeed. We need some time to digest such a wealth of information. I suggest we conclude the first half of our conference, Mr. Alfalfa. Please allow Topaz and me to confer privately for a few moments and to respond on behalf of the IPC later. <laughs> of course. Take your time, dear ladies. I don't like the way he says dear ladies. <laughs> that just sounds creepy. <laughs> hey, back to me. Okay. The Alfalfa family hmm. had a meeting with the IPC? Apparently they did. Hey, we're at the bar. <laughs> hey, Shoban's here too. Uh, yeah, speaking of that, are we going to tell Shoban what happened to Gallagher? <laughs> I got this information from a message sent by that IPC ambassador. Oh. So to return the favor. Adventurines cling us in, okay. It's not hard to imagine. Panaconi today is pretty much like the frontier prison it once was, with external forces casting greedy eyes and the undercurrent of order lurking within. Uh, also, hey, Daddy, well, nice to see you again. <laughs> Instead of falling into a situation where they are plagued by both external and internal threats, Panaconi would rather take a step back and invite the IPC to negotiate at the table, ostensibly to cooperate, but in reality, to secure more opportunities for their own survival. Well, no wonder they sought the mediation from the Astral Express. 
in your opinion, who should we stand behind? Hmm. I don't think the followers of the Harmony are completely innocent victims in all of this. Yeah, right. That's what I was reasons saying. reasons unknown, they have a strong desire to smooth things over, which leads to speculation about their motives. If either the family or IPC were to assume full control of Penaconi, it would return to its previous illusory dream of hedonism, and the efforts of hmm. those previous nameless would once again go to waste. Yeah, that is the predicament here. Sam has done some legal knowledge since she has some knowledge since she since she did legal. Oh wait, when, when you say Sam, I keep thinking game Sam, no Sam Slade, as in Topaz's VA. Yes, it's such a coincidence that they, like they have the same name. <laughs> there you are. Did you rest well? I didn't disturb you since you were in a deep sleep. Hey, it feels like I had a really long dream. Where's Himiko? Please continue the topic. Uh, where's Himiko? Uh, she went to negotiate with the family as a representative of the crew. Okay. And she'll contact us once her arrangements are ready. Also, can you tell her to take back her eat and give me a Clara instead? <laughs> I, I really didn't, didn't want to eat one, uh, Himiko. After Anna's dream was shattered, the family branch from the Montour system soon arrived and swiftly took control of the situation. Most members of the Oak family fell unconscious, but fortunately, their lives were not in danger. The mastermind behind the plans was confirmed to be Gopher Wood, yep. the previous dream master. Well but by the time we arrived, he was dead already. Oh, that's why the crows are dying. So the okay. So he died the moment the crows did too. Okay. And what about Sunday? How did guests react? What happened to Panicani? What about Sunday? What's happened to him? He'll face a trial. Hmm. As for further details, uh, the family would rather not disclose them. I know people have been speculating that Sunday may join the Sauron Hunters. That's an interesting direction to take him. <laughs> Not sure if that will come to fruition, but it'd be cool if it did. Ultimately, the public perceived the incident as an attack by evil forces targeting the Charmony Festival. They believe the family failed to safeguard the sweet dream, significantly eroding their credibility in the process. While quite different from the truth, this appears to be the outcome with the least impact. After all, you don't know who's awake. Oh, hey, show what? Pretending to be asleep. <laughs> oh, who's talking about you? <laughs> well, they'll open their eyes in the face of danger. Once the danger subsides, they'll embrace the sweet dream again. Here's a toast with three glasses of glory of the trailblaze to all of you. Glory of the trail. Hey, is that a new drink? Hello again. How come you're here too? Hello again. Yeah, it's good to see you all again. Although we might be saying goodbye again after this reunion. Nah. Uh. When will the Astral Express leave Pentagoni? <laughs> I don't want to leave. I want to stay here. Uh, not really, though. We'll stay a bit longer, but not too long. We'll stay a bit longer until 2.4, where we have to go back to the Cien Show. No idea what the next planet is, but hopefully this game, <laughs> this this quest teases it. So this is our final meeting, then? If this is a farewell, then it seems to be missing something. Music? Atmosphere? Ah, maybe a special drink to honor those who are not here. Oh yeah, Gallagher. She must she must know by now, right? Mm, let's see. The mixed drink should be solemn, dignified, and unique. As we'll use it to pay respect to those fallen heroes. To the nameless resting in peace. Yeah, okay. She she does know. I, I was afraid she didn't know for like the longest time. Ah, I kinda of feel bad for her. Talk to Showman and prepare a drink. Chat with your fellow members of the crew. Hey, back to Trailblazer's POV. Also, yeah, I got the bat and the bar filled up, by the way, since uh, I, I did do the event to its fullest. Uh, yeah, let's start with the gang first before we get that drink. Hey, March! <laughs> you like the stage here? I did this all myself. Uh, guess what? Something weird just happened. 
happened when I was on my way over here. Someone gave me a strange gift. So I unwrapped it and found out it was a button. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> Just press this button and all of Panacone will explode. This sounds terrifying. <laughs> Could be a terrorist attack? Did you press it? Of course not. Who would press something like that? By the time I turned around, the person had already vanished. So I handed it over to a nearby hound. Hmm. I heard there were many similar reports before the Charmony Festival started. You have more restraint than me, March. I would have just pressed that button immediately to see what happened. <laughs> uh, I'm really worried about the future of Penacony. Look, if I received one of those buttons, I would be pressing it immediately. I let my intrusive thoughts win any day of the week. <laughs> Uh, okay, where's Dan Boy and what man? Uh, where are they? Hmm, I'm looking around the bar. I don't see them. Hmm. Nope, he's not here. Oh, they're just standing right there. It's rare for all passengers to leave the express together during a trailblazing expedition. But for Panacone, it seems most appropriate. But what about the Express? Given the Conductor's presence, there's no need to worry about it. However, it's crucial that we soon return to inform Pom Pom about, uh... Oh yeah. The nameless. And his old friends. Now what happened to you in Ina's dream? In my dream, the Express stopped at many places, and passengers came and went. However, the five of us were always present, and the journey seemed never-ending. Aww. Perhaps this could be a deep-seated desire inside me. And uh, upon realizing this, I... Uh, I knew it wasn't real. Aww, he loves the, the Express family. <laughs> uh, is the Order incident in Panacani a unique case? <sighs> no related records exist in the databank. But I have a theory. The hidden dangers of the Order have always been within the Harmony. And this issue existed within the family from the very beginning. However, now that more powers in the universe are aware of this secret, the situation in the cosmos uh, will become more complicated. That's all for now. Like I said, we'll go and see. Once we've packed everything, we should head to our next destination. Yeah, honestly, hot March 7 got me tempted to build, um, yeah, March 7th. Uh, my March is, what, very, very low leveled, but honestly, I am tempted to, like, bring her up here and whatnot. Also, right, I did get the, uh, yeah, I can now R5 my, uh, day one of my new life light cone here. Might as well. Defense plus 24%. And then I can always just use any of these light cones for, uh, March if I ever need to. Okay, what about you, Welt, as well? Oh, it seems like you have other questions. But not you, Don Hung. Like I said. I, 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 I meant Welt. <laughs> this trailblazing expedition has been thrilling and memorable. Hopefully we've all gained insights about ideals, paranoia, clarity, and dreams from the experiences we've had. What happens to running the run date? <laughs> run date? <laughs> Why did I say run day? <laughs> what happened to Sunday and Robin? One bird longs for the earth and the other longs for the sky. Even if Robin had to stop her brother with her own hands, she won't give up on him. However, facing punishment from the Harmony is inevitable. Hmm. He will face a trial. As for further details, the family would rather not disclose them. When did the Order infiltrate Panacone? Since the family took up residence in Panacone, the Order has been hiding in plain sight under the guise of the Oak family, using mm. Stellaron's power to strengthen their hold on the Sweet Dream, which eventually resulted in disaster. That's the claim the family makes. Whether they were truly unaware of all this is a delicate matter. 
<laughs> For all we know, more of the Order members could still be hiding among the Oak family. Like, maybe Old OT is one of them. For all we know. Uh, did the IPC make any move? Uh, Venturine's efforts finally earned the IPC a seat at the table. As a result, a more senior representative arrived in Penacone and initiated negotiations. Yep, Jade. As far as the Astral Express is concerned, the IPC will make for an invaluable ally during the negotiations to prevent Penacone returning to its former ways. What happened to you in a stream? Oh, this has got to be like... I feel like this has got to be something related to Honkai Impact, right? Well, it was somewhat... Surprise. Yeah, there we go. In that dream, I returned to my home world and reunited with my long lost friends. And for some reason, Acheron resurfaced in my mind. Right in May, wink wink, nut nudge. Also, yeah, your wife and your son, that too. <laughs> when I realized that her conclusion was not preserved in memories, I became aware of the bitter truth. That's all for now. The conclusion of a journey can often be sorrowful. All we can do is to try to make sure it ends on a happy note. All right, let's uh, get a toast up here for Misha and Gallagher. And, you know, ready to mix your drink? Mikhail Legwork, uh, Tiernan, and that other lady, which I keep forgetting her name for some reason. <laughs> just, just for everybody. What went to Gallagher? I'm not sure. I haven't seen him since our last meeting at the lounge. Come to think of it, he always did come and go quietly. We used to discuss everything here. But every time he'd leave, I'd realize that I didn't know him at all. Such is the mystery that is Gallagher. I have a hunch. Perhaps he's already fulfilled his wishes and won't be coming back. Let's mix the drinks. Before we start, uh, would you like to talk to your friends? I... We have plenty of time. <laughs> I already did. No need. Let's get started. All right, as you wish. Rosaline, that's her name. I, I, I don't know why I keep forgetting her name there. Huh. I think I have an idea about what drink to make. Oh, I'm actually going to bartender like here. Bitter or sweet? It's up to you. Choose the flavor that suits you best at this moment. I feel sweet. I'm in the sweet mood as right now. Drowning sweetness. One of the most challenging drinks to make. A slight imbalance in the ingredients can result in an overwhelmingly viscous sweet taste. However, with the right ratios, you get a uniquely sweet drink with a lingering aftertaste. Not a bad choice. Let's start mixing. I'm actually making it. <laughs> yep, I am. <laughs> All right, mini wine glass, less ice, uh, dream jams. One and a two. Sweet milk cream. And voila. Origami bird as well. Drowning sweetness. Words always fall short. If you want to bring closure to past events at this lounge, there's no better way than mixing a drink. Blend all your memories and emotions together and stir them well. Through the filter of time, what remains in the glass is something to savor. Well, it's done. Here's to the nameless resting in peace. And to my friend Gallagher. And to our friend Misha. The spirit of freedom will spread far and wide among the stars. And its legacy will be more timeless than a pastoral song. We're not accepted by the outside world, so we've gathered here. And one day, our souls will return to the same place. Cheers. Cheers. I'm actually gonna drink my water right here. <laughs> Poor Gallagher. All right. Guys, uh, hey, Simiko. Guys, let's make our way to the Radiant Feldspar. I'll wrap things up soon. Let's meet up at the aft pool in the stern. Roger, catch you later. I'm on my way. What have you been up to lately, Miss Simiko? Hey, I was about to ask the same thing. <laughs> it's a secret for now. Be patient, you'll find out at the opening ceremony. Uh, ceremony. Hey, I can't wait. It's a wonderful life. Say goodbye to the show, and I'm prepared to go aboard. Also, yeah, let me just claim these achievements I got real quick.
In a single battle, use fireflies four times before complete combustion state ends. Oh, that's that's an easy one to do. Uh, here's to the departed toasting the honey tomorrow. All right. Oh, are you leaving? Well, then take this with you. Oh, oh I can get the drink itself. <laughs> okay. Make some more of this last special drink for you. <sighs> the past shouldn't be forgotten. So I hope it brings back the flavors of Panacone. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure it'll leave a lasting impression. <laughs> if you happen to run into Gallagher, make sure he has a sip too. Hmm. I know his tastes, and he'll be thrilled. I mean, if the, uh... <laughs> yeah, if the puppet puppeteer of the Agamada ever decides to make him again, sure, why not? We will, but what if we never, what if we never cross paths with them? Nah, I'm not gonna say that. Alright, enough with the heavy stuff. You guys have important things to take care of. So let's not dwell on things. Whether it's the Astral Express or Panacone, there's still a long journey ahead. So let's lift our spirits, guys, and embark towards our tomorrows. Cheers to that. Oh, the Jace POV oh, now, okay. He is a tricky opponent. I didn't expect him to take the risky step of going public at such a critical moment for Panacone. Indeed, he's definitely bold. It's that kind of boldness that made him the Odi Alfalfa he is today. Still, the outcome is uncertain. Shouting loud doesn't necessarily carry any weight. What about the phone call I asked you to make, Topaz? Ah, they agreed. But it'll take some time before they arrive. Oh, us? The express crew? Just as it should be. Actually, wait, do I get to play the Jade the here? <laughs> should be served after the bitter poison. <laughs> Looks like we'll be skipping the exchanging apples step this time around. <laughs> Now that we're dealing with a greedy merchant, a simple apple wouldn't make a difference. Well, I guess I included myself in that remark, too. Now I'm a bit curious, Topaz. Do you think Panacone is a quality asset? Hmm. Yes. Despite its recent calamity, Panacone remains a top quality asset within the cosmos. With, uh, good credit, lucrative potential, and, uh, promising prospects. Hmm. I really like Shoban, but one of the more memorable NPCs. Yeah, Shoban is awesome. <laughs> I love how, just how chill she is. And I don't know, the voice as well really does give her like like a certain character feel to it, even though she's an NPC. <laughs> also mention she's a very well designed NPC as well. I, I, I like that as well. Well, that's obvious. But what I truly wanted to know is this project is obviously too bland for your taste, isn't it? <laughs> that's true. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Aventurine. But despite that, you trust him. You even entrusted him with a cornerstone. Something as precious as life itself to finish this gamble. Uh, are you not in the same boat, Miss Jade? Without us playing along, your Jade Stone wouldn't have made it across the border so easily. Allowing you to see all desires that flow through dreams to gain a bargaining chip in negotiations. That's another thing too. I hope Aventurine shows up here at the end, because he had such a pivotal role in Act 2 and barely got any presence in Act 3. So yeah, here's hoping he at least makes a show here. <laughs> That's why I'm willing to stake my topaz stone to cover for you. <laughs> it's like one big elaborate game of chess. Once that kid sets his mind to something, Nothing can stop him. <laughs> Not even fate. <laughs> well, at least he's still alive. And that's the best outcome. <laughs> Rescue by Argenti some more. I still want to see that, by the way. I want to... I still want to see the, uh... <laughs> how Argenti managed to save, um... Aventurine somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like... Uh, we've strayed off topic, Miss Jade. Should we discuss our next steps? No need. I'll go it alone. Meanwhile, you can go greet our honored guest and wait for my message. Okay. Is that Robin? Oh. Huh. She's also here. Hey, the there she is. Bar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hang on a minute here. <laughs> Hang on.
Hang on, I'm just testing something with Jade. Yeah, it's kind of cool that we get her like before that uh before she's even released. All of them in here. I'm just testing some things real quick. God damn. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can't do that for long. I may get age restricted here. Do as you're told. There's a good child. Do as you're told. Hmm. I may reconsider pulling for one May. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good lord. Can I enter comment for something? I really want to test her out. I really want to try our place on everything. Ah, but there's, there's like no fight to do around here, is there? Damn. Hmm. Not exactly. Come on, there's gotta be like I at least one battle I like, can do here. Also, hey, birdie on the wheel. Oh, see, yeah, her cane turns into a freaking whip. Yeah, that's insane, actually. Actually, yeah, let's have a look at Jade's idle animations. I want to see those as well. I I've seen Fireflies a bit here and there, but I want to see Jade's as well. Yeah, I can see the Rule 34 already. Good lord. But yeah, her design is pretty awesome, I gotta say. The that dress is actually looks really good. Oh, oh yeah, sign it up the documents, right? Looks like this collateral. Yep. Albert's paycheck deducted. <laughs> and that's how we get increased rewards from uh, the end game modes. I love that hat that she has on. Kind of reminds me of like Lisa to some degree. Hmm. Uh, looks like this collateral won't be returned. Like yeah, the the purplish or like yeah, the, the giant hat reminds me of Lisa. She uses her lipstick to sign agree agreements. Like, really? Is she? Is she actually using her lipstick? I thought she was like using some sort of like special pen or something. Also, yeah. What? What is that? Are, are, is she just wearing sleeves? I thought she was wearing a jacket at first, but no. That those are just sleeves, like detachable sleeves on her like body there. Yeah, that's like the only idol mm -hmm. I've seen so far. She's uh, using her lipstick. Looks like <laughs> what? This collateral. Won't be returned. <laughs> Who the hell uses their lipstick to sign agreements? That is okay. Oh, I can't enter this room either. Is there any battles I can do here with Jade, or is that just it? I can just walk around with her and that's it. Do as you're told. Yeah, <laughs> I was just making sure her features work properly, you know? Just have to make sure there were like no bugs or anything of the sort with uh <laughs> with her. Honestly, yeah, I'm on the fence of uh, pulling for Jade. As much as I do want to complete an IPC team. Um, yeah, I actually, I don't remember too much about her kit, but uh, from, what I've, from what we've seen in the special program, she, like, she, like, reduces the HP of, like, one ally in turn to, like, give her, to give that ally buffs. And then also she's, like, yeah, Quantum Air Edition. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how she plays, but... Yeah, I think more than anything, I think I prefer Ron May over her. Yeah, we'll get to Apocalyptic Shadow in a bit here. Uh, we haven't started it yet, nor have we started Divergent Universe, but we will try and do it like after the um, yeah the current uh, Trailblaze mission. Okay, but uh, where was I? Oh yeah, let's uh, get back on track here and say hi to Robin. Also, I just noticed that yeah, all the birds are here. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> hey, Robin, what are you doing here? Greetings, Miss Robin. I didn't expect to meet you here. Miss Jade? Greetings. The opening ceremony for the Charmony Festival has been moved to the Radiant Feldspar, so I'm here making some preparations. How about you? Have you spoken with Mr. Alfalfa? I'm actually on my way to meet him right now. Do you know him well, Miss Robin? Unfortunately, I've never met him. I've only heard a few comments from the former head of the Oak family. Uh. Mr. Alfalfa is respectable when it comes to business. But in other respects, I can't say the same. Hmm. Where do you think the future of the planet of festivities is headed? I believe the sweet dream will see its rebirth. 
Just like the Radiant Feldspar resumed its voyage, the Harmony needs a new direction. Only by bidding farewell to the past can we actually sail into the future. There are no permanent allies or everlasting enemies. So let's both take what we need from this deal. Naturally. I'm looking forward to your performance. Ooh. See you at the festival. Oh yeah, wasn't there another Robin song just released? Like on like on the YouTube channel? Also, yeah, that's another thing too. Uh the Honkai Star Rail YouTube channel also released like a video with like spark on the thumbnail. I'm not sure if that's like related to like the current Trailways mission, but I do want to check that out too. Yeah, I wonder if she'll have like a new song to play here in this quest. See you later, Miss J. If so, I'm looking forward to it. See you later, Miss Robin. Okay. Keep talking of OT Alpha Alpha. Let's whip him into shape. <laughs> I'm sure that will work. Wonders. Die! <laughs> Just fucking force him. Thank you for your patience, Mr. Alfalfa. Let's continue our discussion. The video on the Honkai Sorry YouTube channel is a quest spoiler. Okay, then I won't watch it then. <laughs> Figured out something already, Miss Jade? Hmm. But where is Miss Topaz? Topaz has something else to take care of. You'll be seeing her later. Talks can still continue between the two of us. Is it just me, Miss? Your tone sounds very different now. I need to set a good example for my junior. Oh boy. Oh, oh no. It's not good to be too loose-lipped during negotiations, right? Now we can speak frankly. Oh god, that Odie. smile at the end. Oh no. Do you believe what I said, Odie? You're not the only merchant who has seen the changes in the cosmic market over the past ten amber eras. Interesting. <laughs> now that's interesting. Good. It's good to be straightforward. Openness and transparency are my things. So, tell me, what's your next move? Unfortunately, I'd like to speak the harsh truth before laying out my plan. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. First, your plan won't work. Penacony has no way of sidestepping the IPC and going public. Oh. Second, you can't stop the IPC from entering Penacony. We've got all the time and connections in the world to find a way in. No oh boy. <laughs> we'll keep tearing down and rebuilding this place until the Asdana system gets used to the IPC's ways again. Now, I'm repeating your words exactly. If you don't want to be a laughing stock and have everyone gunning for you at the official conference, you'd better drop your little pie in the sky plan. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Indeed. He doesn't seem faced. You surely have a way with words. Oh, but he's mad no. now. <laughs> I'm curious to know what you have up your sleeve. Mr. Alfalfa, let's not forget that the IPC controls the biggest interstellar publicity platform. More than half the news networks in the universe take their orders from us. The moment news spreads about Penacony going public, Trillions of customers will immediately receive a message like this. The family's protection for Penacony has expired. Oh boy. Any mishaps in the dream oh. could result in permanent brain death. Oh, sh that's dirty. Holy shit. Just spread misinformation, why don't you? Well, it's not technically misinformation, but still. Care to guess how many ways we have to turn alfalfa credits into worthless junk within a measly 24 system hours? Oh, yeah. <laughs> With the entire cosmos keeping a close eye on Penacony, I assure you, it won't be too hard. You really think you can pull that off? Even from Pier Point, as distant as it may be, mm. more than capable of keeping you on a tight leash. However, if you agree to give up that half-baked plan to go public, the IPC will assure you that will never jeopardize the interests of the family heads under your leadership. Even from Pier Point, as distant as it may be, I'm more than capable of keeping you on a tight leash. Yeah, that line's getting fan art for sure. <laughs> After all, 
We also need allies here in Astana. <laughs> I can already hear the people on Twitter the saying, I wish I was me. <laughs> with financing, starting by acquiring 30% equity shares. With our financial support, stabilizing and rebuilding Penacony will be a piece of cake. 30% equity, you say? Who can guarantee you won't want more in the future? <laughs> That's the brilliant part of it all. Hmm. The answer is simple. No one. There are no guarantees. It all hinges on self-awareness and mutual respect. However, the board of directors will consider the interests of the family heads to some extent. You're a smart merchant, old Odie. Isn't the whole purpose of this elaborate game to showcase your business acumen and seek more benefits for the family? It benefits us if we both take a step back. And if that's not enough for you, I'm pretty sure that another goal of making Penacony go public is to expand the influence of the Planet of Festivities and attract more customers. I understand your concern. And I have a solution for that, too. Hmm. Hmm. Fine. Now I see your sincerity. As the head of the Alfalfa family, I don't think I have any reason to refuse your offer. However, as their chosen one, I still need one final answer. Go ahead. I'm listening. When I was a child, I heard the adults recite the tale of the ancient Amberera. About the ascension of Shipe, the Harmony, and the downfall of Enna, the Order. The Order and the Preservation used to be close in ancient times. Hmm. So, why does the IPC, as a follower of the Amber Lord, seek collaboration with the family instead of aligning with the Order? The answer is simpler than you think. It's all about credits. Yep, all Everyone's about the money. favorite thing and the universal <laughs> recognized currency among the stars. The IPC has the power to perpetually ensure their value. With each new world integrated into the credit system, the IPC adds another building block to its cause. Eventually, all exchanges, capital, and businesses will operate within a unified monetary system. By then, all planetary developments will be recorded in accounts with well-defined values and the ability for exchange and circulation. And the heart of everything will be Klepoth's credit. Ah, and then the IPC will be able to exert influence over everything. Our intention is to establish enduring preservation, so I'm sure you can understand. This universe doesn't need two types of order. Oh, shit. <laughs> there can only be one. <laughs> and that's the preservation. Hmm. Oh, shit. What a cult line. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Now you've convinced me. All right. Tell me your solution. Let's see if we're thinking the same thing. Then let's continue our conversation. Please, Topaz, invite Sweet Dew to join us at the table. Oh, what? Oh, she was eavesdropping the whole time. Okay. <laughs> invite Sweet Dew to join us. Oh, us. As in, yep, Himiko. <laughs> Thank you for your presence, Miss Himiko. Please allow me to introduce her to you, Mr. Alfalfa. This is Miss Himiko from the Astral Express. One of the future shareholders of Penacony. Oh. I've heard so much about you, Mr. Alfalfa. It's an honor to meet you as representative of the Astral Express. <laughs> this stunning lady is the navigator of the Astral Express? It's a pleasure to meet you. I believe everyone here is familiar with the general contents of the proposal. After this round of financing, the IPC is expected to hold 30% of Penacony's shares. Jeez, 30% though, that's a lot. 
I mean, not as much as like 40 or 50 percent, but geez, that's still a lot considering like I feel like this plant makes a lot of money. I mean, it yeah. has to. The IPC will transfer 5 percent of that stake oh. to the Astral Express and recommend Miss Himeko as an independent director to honor the sacrifices and contributions made by the former Nameless. To the land of the dreams. Oh shit, we're gonna be rich, boys. Holy crap. <laughs> also, can I say I'm somewhat jealous of old OT here being surrounded by three beautiful ladies? Like, goddamn. <laughs> I wish that were me. While this decision isn't finalized yet, we are honored that everyone here recognizes the way of the Trailblaze. While the Nameless didn't embark on their journeys for fame or fortune, if this is the wish of both the family and the IPC, I will represent the Astral Express and fulfill my duty as a member of the Board of Directors. The entire crew has agreed to assist in the reconstruction of Penacony. Beyond that, in our future travels, we are committed to bringing the beautiful dreams of the Planet of Festivities to more worlds. Of course, all cooperation is based on one premise. The path of harmony in Penacony must not be distorted again. Yep. And such a tragedy must never recur. <laughs> Don't make us come back here. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Alright, get back to the hotel room and go discuss the meeting over with Topaz. Actually, part of me does wonder. Does Firefly have any lines for Jade? I don't think she does, but just to be sure. One day, you will understand my perseverance. Wait, who's she saying that to? One day you will understand my perseverance. Oh, she is talking to Jade. Huh. One day you will understand my perseverance. Interesting. Because they don't meet. Hmm. Well, I'm assuming may maybe they'll meet in the story, but... Hmm. Interesting. Also, yeah, let me... I'll be... I'll be... Can't check Jade. I can't just, like, remove her and add her in. To see her voice lines. Curious. Oh, hey, Topaz. <sighs> Old OT is in agreement. So the issue is settled, I presume. What about the remaining family heads? They will soon realize the situation. When Old OT answered the last question, he represented more than just the Alfalfa family. <laughs> When should we schedule the formal negotiations? I'll handle the arrangements. It's all up to you. I'll step back and let you handle the negotiations and take over. I won't be involved. Yeah, this may be for the best. Even though I don't particularly agree the IPZ taking over Panacone. Uh, but Miss Jade, this is... I mean, yeah, if Topaz is doing it, then it's probably for the best. Aventurine initiated this case. And you were his project partner. If that kid hadn't overplayed his hand, I wouldn't have been pushed to the forefront. I came here today to help you sort out the toughest issue. I trust you'll be able to wrap things up quite nicely, little Yelena. Of course, there won't be any problems. <laughs> and please, give Diamond my assurance. Don't worry. Diamond has always trusted us. I'll put in a good word for you. And you'll have your P-45 position back in no time. Radiant Feldspar. What a fantastic ship. Now that my business is done, it's time for me to indulge in my own little hobby. Oh boy, do I even want to know what your little hobby is? Ah, you want to open a Bona Jade Exchange branch on this ship too? A Bona Jade what? Opportunities like what this is that? don't come around <laughs> often. Just look at the guests on this ship. Oh. They're surely holding a wealth of valuable treasures. Well, <laughs> I'll take my leave. A pawn shop can't run without a boss. God damn, this, this woman's Sweet. money hungry. And fair enough. <laughs> I have one more question for you, Miss Jade. Hmm? Go ahead. That dose of bitter poison. Hmm. I'm curious as to how you found this information I didn't find bitter poison wait what it came to me it was from 
A lady concerned with the future of the Harmony. In return, I've agreed to help her with something. But that's for later. Who's her? Firefly? We can deal with it after we leave Penacone. You see... That's what investment is all about. Hmm. The seeds of opportunity. I'm not sure what the poison is referring to. They only need a little bit of nourishment to take root. And then after, all we need to do is wait patiently. <laughs> oh, the brain death stuff, right. Like right now, for example. It's just about time my final guest boarded the ship. Yep, <laughs> Firefly, yep. Okay, she's the last guest. Are those charters still in the water? <laughs> Thought they would have left by now. Oh, hey! Hey, open that chest! Right now! <laughs> Guys! Quick, open it, please! <laughs> hey, there she is. Way easier than I thought. The family's security is as lax as ever. So... This is the Radiant Feldspar. <laughs> so luxurious. A pawn shop that grants wishes. Is, there really is that what this place like is? On the ship? Pawn shop that grants wishes. Hmm. I'll find out for myself if the hey. are true or not. Firefly soldiers pay. Also, yeah, these guys are still here. I still can't interact <laughs> with them. I kind of hope I do. Oh, wait, it's giving me my actual Firefly, is it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Suck shit, my Firefly's better than yours. At least I, I think so. What we'll the pool, you're active running around that catches the attention. Oh, fuck. Pulls you out of the pool, you're amazed at the strength of his arm. Ah, shit, I actually got penalized for fucking just playing around in the water. A swimming pool is meant for swimming, not a place for running around. Well, excuse me, you don't put enough water in here for me to swim. <laughs> You're a guest, but so is everyone else. You should still give a thought to the safety of others. Can't you see that there are children around here? Since you don't look familiar, I'll let you off, I'll let you off this time. Considering it's your first offense, don't let me catch you running around here again. Whoops. My bad. Be sure to look around for a good chuckle. Oh yeah, I've seen the trotters here already, but if, if there's more stuff, then yeah, I'll continue to look around here. Are these guys really sleeping in the dreamscape? Bro? <laughs> I hear later Lady Bona Jade is personally assuming command. I could have been lied to. Hmm. Okay, nothing, uh, nothing funny there. Remember to avoid the guards too? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to do that as well. Oh, I can go here now. Nice. Hang on, let me look around a bit. Let me uh, grab all this manner of, of treasure and whatnot. Also, let me go see the express crew in a bit here. Okay, this door's not open, but I might as well open this here. Yep. Is that... her? That's me! Oh hey, then and this Robin right there. Vanished in the blink of an eye. So the Astral Express is here too. Hang on, let me look around some more. Danger detected? What? Oh, is there an enemy past the doors? That's probably why I can't get them right now. Also, hey, Birdie, I see you. Um. Duh. Oh, there we go. I have the feeling I have to shoot you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna look around here for a bit, see if there's any, like, funny stuff I can trigger. <laughs> like, running in the water and whatnot. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's anything here, so I think I'll just continue to chase myself here in a second. But hey, Miss Robin! By the way, there's one more thing. Oh, fuck. She's gonna recognize me, isn't she? <laughs> Mr. Wait, no, right, because they did... Like, Firefly and Robin didn't meet. the Astral Express on behalf of the family, as a token of gratitude for the nameless contributions to Penacony. Please help me with the necessary arrangements. Right away, Miss Robin. Can I ask you something? Oh, greetings, Miss. Is there anything I can help you with? Do you know how to get to the pawn shop? 
pawn shop. Ah, you must be talking about Lady Bonajade's place, right? I heard she offers uh, special services there. I've marked the pawn shop's location on your device. Please feel free to check it out. All right. Lady Bonajade. I think I've heard that name somewhere before. Oh wait. Was it from Silverwolf? Is it? <laughs> Come to think of it. She disappeared after mentioning that she was going to meet with the Genius Society. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I wonder how things turned out for her. Chat Lady Bonajade about your discoveries. Optional. Find the trailblazer on the Radiant Feldspar. Okay, I must all uh, say hi to myself here if I can find me. <laughs> hey, <laughs> there's me. <laughs> of course, Stella's gambling on the, on the fucking machine. Why wouldn't he be? <laughs> Inspection complete. If I win. Uh. <laughs> this is like the first time I've seen Stell act out of sight outside my control. <laughs> oh god, what what's she gonna say? Your chest is mine. Excuse me? What <laughs> Stell? Who said I was betting with you? <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> they are still a ball of fire as ever. Sorry, but I've got to find Lady Bonajade first. Oh, come on, I can't talk to myself. Damn it. <laughs> Going my own way. Hang no, on, there's a chest there. It's not the best time to do that. Sorry, but I've got to find Lady Bonajade first. No, I want the chest. God damn it. Oh, pff. your chest is mine. That chest. <laughs> I took me a no, while to put two and two together. Sorry. That chest. I thought he was like what? You're like what? Like his? <laughs> do you want the plating on his chest? Like what? <laughs> nope. The chest we've been opening the whole time. That's what she meant. <laughs> yeah, good to know Stell is just as chaotic. <laughs> Even outside of my control. <laughs> I'm assuming Kayla says, says the same things too. Detected, but never let your guard down. Sure, might as well use this telescope here just in case. The Sirenis uh, through the telescope is vast. So vast it evokes uh, some delusions of it in you. Floating among the clouds for too long would make would physically make one in the clouds, which isn't necessarily a good thing. Uh, look to the left. I had a feeling for a moment the, the telescope's lens is aimed at an object and auto zooms. Everything looks so small from this angle. Even the, ben the buildings on Pentecost's 12 hours look like chess pieces. Look to the right. Okay, there's nothing around here. Look to the right again. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's not exactly. Wait a minute, I see, I see a birdie over there. Wait a minute. In a balloon. How am I supposed to get that? Oh, whistle, whistle coolly. Okay. And it's continue whistling. There you are. Okay. You hear the sound of wings flapping. Are you calling for me? Uh, do you know me? I think here's something. Uh, turns out I was mistaken. Tweet, are you singing? I thought it was, it was my companions calling for me. Okay. Didn't, 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 did not expect a birdie right there. Also, birdie here too. Hang on a minute. No, not you guys. Hang on, yeah, let me just yank out all these, as many birdies as I can around this place. Yeah, stop eavesdropping. <laughs> There's two more places I can find the trailblazer? No, it's not the- sorry. There's three places you can find them. Oh, as in find Stell? Or do you mean, like, find the other members of the Express crew? Like, maybe I can find March 7th, or... And, uh, got hung around or something. Oh, wait, no, 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 I'm not going there yet. I don't want to trigger the story just yet. Yeah, Landis, could you make that clear? Um, do you mean find Stell some more? Or do you mean find, like, the other members of the Express? Stell in different places. Okay, we'll be sure to, uh, check back on her once I do, con yeah, encounter Civil Wolf here. Yeah, I don't see I don't see the other express members around. Yeah, I'll try and find myself more if possible. 
Alright, let's see who this Lady Bonajade is. Actually, what's over here? Oh wait, that's just the same place I was before, right? Hey Jade! I'm here to make- <laughs> I'm here <laughs> to make an announcement! <laughs> okay, nah, I think I just turned back. One is where the birds are, okay. Yeah, we, we'll be sure to check back in on Stell when I do get the chance to. Lady Bonajade, all right, let's, uh... Oh, nope, nope, right, it's, uh, Jade herself. Welcome to Bonajade Exchange, Radiant Feldspar Branch. How should I address you, dear lady? Just call me Samuel. Yeah. <laughs> Samuel, nice name. So what do you need, Miss Samuel? And what are you willing to give up in return? Hmm. I want to keep on living. And for that, I'm willing to give up everything I have. Everything you have? Oh, that's an expression I never thought I'd see on Jade. <laughs> that's right. Everything. Miss Samuel, I think you'd best turn around. It seems you're not quite familiar with the term pawn. But yeah, you can't just like buy your life back. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean it literally. I sense your burning desire to live, but unfortunately, you don't have anything of equal value to offer. What? Not even this really, really cool Glamoff suit? <laughs> okay. A pawn shop that grants wishes. <laughs> I see. It's just a marketing gimmick. <laughs> well, that's quite a harsh accusation. I understand you may not fully comprehend what I mean, but don't worry. I'll help you understand. Go and talk to these people. They're all customers of my pawn shop. See for yourself if their wishes have come true. Once you've done that, come back to me. I'll help you understand the true meaning of pawn and make you realize what you're missing. I realize pawn has like a double meaning. Pawn as in like you can sell your stuff and whatnot, but pawn as in, you know, like, you know, pawns in a, like as in minions. That lady pawn hmm. feels more like a money lender <laughs> rather than the owner okay. of a pawn shop. <laughs> okay, well, I can, uh... I've got nothing better to do anyway. I'll do as she says and see what happens. Stell, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you surrounded by balloons? What'd you do? Which one should I pop? One, two, three, four, five. Don Hung and Void Ranger die. Yeah. <laughs> Don't change the words. No, it's not the best time to do that. Sorry. I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> Can I actually pop the balloons from here? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> No, it's not the best. Damn it, time. I can't. I <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I, I see, I see trailblazer there. God damn it! I love that the the trailblazer is just like canonically chaotic. <laughs> Even outside of control, she's just a fucking a bundle of pure energy. Okay, check the latest status, uh, Lee. Okay, I'm, I'm assuming I go back and check in on Stell after each customer here. Like, if, yeah, once I make progress, um, I, I assume I check back in on Stell some more. All right, so let's do that. <laughs> you stupid little girl. Coming back to lose more money, huh? Ugh, enough talk. Let's get started. Oh, don't tell me this NPC, like, bargained for more luck or something. This will be our final game. I'm betting my entire fortune. Oh, boy. Oh, All or nothing. Big talker, huh? <laughs> All right. Let's see what you've got. What? Oh, oh, wait, what's this? Oh, it's a Candy Crush mode. <laughs> Origami Bird Clash is a match three battling game where you have to clear fruits within a certain amount of moves and increase the Origami's combat power. At the end of the turn, the, the system will calculate damage based on combat power difference. If HP reduces zero, yeah, okay. Yep, it, it, it's Candy Crush. Clear fruits to increase the bird's combat power. Uh, each cycle has a limited amount of moves, and the cycle ends upon a running out of moves. Okay. I see. Uh, uh, I can make some lines here. Double. I can also make this one. Then, uh. 
I th I see one over here too. And one moon remaining, I can make this one. Ha! I win! Die, Bernie! <laughs> oh man, that was easy. I... I won? I actually won! <laughs> this... This can't be! <laughs> you lost to me ten times in a row. How could I possibly lose to you at such a crucial moment? It's true. Lady Bonna Jade has truly blessed me. Yep, I called it. <laughs> Finally, my luck has turned for the better. Great new era for Stacy, the master gambler, has arrived. <laughs> okay, come on. You won that one time. It's just like, ha, I'm, I'm a master gambler. I am awesome. <laughs> It's just, come on, come on, man. You can't pride yourself on being a master gambler when you win, like, once. Okay, uh... Well, that was enlightening. Um... Okay, so now I'm gonna go back and see if I can find Cell again. Uh, yeah, let me head back. Wait, where was I just now? Oh, yeah, upstairs. Yeah, Cell should no longer be there, right? You try facing a Venturine, you, she'll lose for sure. Oh, yep, Cell's no longer there. Yeah, let me uh, look around for her. Okay, you said uh, one of the encounters is in the area with all the birds? Let me try and find that. That should be like on one of the pe Oh, yeah, no, it, it's upstairs, isn't it? Also, I didn't even notice that little trotter up there. <laughs> there there's like, so yeah, so many trotters in the water here. I still has to be by the trotters at some point, right? I just had the feeling. Oh, come on. What do you mean I can't take the elevator? God damn it. Yeah, hang on a second here. Let me uh, go find Stell first before we uh, continue on. She should be somewhere around here. Oh, wait, no. I'm supposed to go down, right? That's where the birds are. Right? Yeah, hang on. I'm still trying to navigate my way through this place. Also, wait. Oh, I thought I heard a birdie. Wait. I heard a birdie nearby somewhere. There you are. Stop hiding on the food. Okay, Stell, where are you this time? What shenanigans are you getting up to? <laughs> yeah, how, wait, how do I get back to the bird? Oh, wait, the, the bird appears on the other side, is it not? Yeah, right, it's the other way, this way. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore them. See if I can find Stell back here, maybe. The space anchor? Oh yeah, right. I could TP around. Oh. Hey, did you see that? The gray-haired one outside. <laughs> Don't look around. Just focus on your drink. Seriously, they look like a total lunatic. This. Is that her? <laughs> what are you doing this time? Stell? <laughs> Hello? Uh, you're going to fall. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> chirp, chirp. <laughs> Origami bird. Hey, little birdie. Yeah. <laughs> Stell, what are you doing? Come on. Oh, calm down already. Everyone's staring at you. No, it's not the best time to do that. <laughs> Sorry. I'll catch up with you later. What the hell are you doing here, Stell? <laughs> you know what? I'm, in, I'm not even gonna question it. Stell's just doing stealth things. <laughs> what the fuck? I uh, was not expecting that. <laughs> okay, uh, let's listen to Dell here. I've prepared a gift for you, Dorothy. Check this out. Whoa. 
What a beautiful necklace! Is it made of cymothane? It's stunning. How did you know I love jewelry made of cymothane? It has the same purple hue as the necklace my dad gave my mom. I've never told anyone about it. How did you find out, Del? So... Well... Will you go out with me? <laughs> <laughs> no. I... I will. R really? I mean... Really? I never said yes before because I thought you had no idea what I liked. But this gift made me realize you were actually paying attention all along. Trying to learn everything about me. So yes, I will. W wonderful. My, my wish has actually come true. So shall we go, Dorothy? Let's go outside and enjoy the stunning views of the 12 hours. <laughs> so talking with Bona Jade also increases your Riz stat, yeah, I see. Let's go. Yeah, how's Jade doing this, by the way? How is she just granting wishes left, right, and center? Check the uh, latest status by Lady Bona Jade's customers. Um, is Stell still there? Yep. Okay, so I can just go around her for now. <laughs> yeah, you heard right. I've got him. He's been hiding at the moment of Sol and Pinnacone, uh. using a fake identity. And he even poses as a professor at Paperfold Academy. Oh no, he's not talking about Firefly. Good. <laughs> I've made a deal with the family. We'll leave the extradition-related paperwork to you. How'd I find them? Well, let's just say I had some help from an influential figure. Don't ask for the details. 22 years. Yeah. 22 years of chasing this guy all over the cosmos. You know, never thought it'd end up like this. Right here. I'm gonna hang up for now, partner. I need to raise a glass to myself. Walker hangs up the phone and drops a fuel seeped out from his deep metal constructed eye sockets. Those were the tears of an electron. It's electron. All of their wishes actually did come true. Hmm. <laughs> But, I just don't understand. How did she do it? And what does Pawn really mean? Yep, she's still there. <laughs> I should go back and ask. Hmm. Okay, it's just the same things. Yeah, Jade, how did you manage to grant these guys wishes now? It's not like you can just increase somebody's like luck stat on the spot, can you? <laughs> So I wonder, can Jade actually increase, like, Firefly's, like, lifespan here? I wonder. So you're back, Miss Samuel. Yeah. I found those people. And it seems their wishes did come true after visiting the Bonajade Exchange. But I'm not sure what you want me to see. They all seem to be living... Fulfilled lives. Not so fast. This step was just to show you that the Bonajade Exchange is genuine. That I had the power to grant their wishes. And now, I'll tell you the price they paid. Oh boy, they sold their soul. Del was from a wealthy family. He was head over heels for Dorothy and wanted to win her heart. Duh. So he made a deal with me. He put up his entire fortune in exchange for a gift that would impress Dorothy. Jeez, has literally his whole money? It was a piece of cake for me. Damn. Thanks to my IPC connections. Oh. Uh. However, Dell will soon find himself a victim oh, no. of a dreamscape because he can't afford his room. Oh no. <gasps> Whether he can bounce back from poverty, well, that depends on him. Oh no, going broke over the girl of your dreams. Yeah, that's not a good trade-off, my Let's guy. Just hope that necklace will keep the relationship from crumbling. Then there's Stacy, a lady with a gambling addiction. She wanted some serious luck. Oh. But oh. she had nothing to offer. So I took something else instead. I took away all her close relationships. You can do that? You can just take away somebody's relationships? Okay, so they pay a heavy price for the gifts. From the moment she stepped out of the Bonajade Exchange, 
Every casino in the cosmos would remember her name. Jeez. But her parents and siblings would sever ties with her. And it would be impossible for Stacy to make any real friends again. Okay, this is what the bitter poison is referring to, I see. <laughs> she will accrue a vast wealth due to her good luck. But she'll never be able to use it for the people who truly matter to her. As for Detective Walker, he spent two decades chasing down a wanted criminal for some heinous crime. But he never caught the guy. In his desperation, he came to me. Let me guess, he gave up, I don't know, uh, something. He offered his own memory system as collateral. Ooh. In due time, his memories as a detective will be erased, and he will completely forget his own identity and all the sacrifices he has made. Interesting, don't you think? I fulfill people's desires and grant them favors, and soon they come back to me with even greater desires. That's a heavy price to pay, though. What? Your memories, your relationships, your fucking wealth, your entire wealth? Damn. When people see others' desires get fulfilled, they develop their own desires. It seems like an endless cycle, but it does have a goal. In the end, I will get what I desire from this whirlpool. What is it that you gain, though? Like, money, I understand, but what, what do you benefit from taking away people's relationships? And someone's memory, for that matter. <laughs> what? And patience happens to be one of my greatest strengths. So now, no. do you understand what you must give up, Miss Samuel? Or should I address you as... Uh, Stella and Hunter Sam? AR-26710. Oh, shit. A remnant of Glamoth's Iron Cavalry. Oh, fuck. She knows. She knows knows. I'm not surprised. You are much calmer than I expected. <laughs> Entropy loss syndrome. Truly an unjust misfortune, isn't it? The higher-ups in Glamoth implemented such a failsafe within the genes of their warriors. <laughs> Just to make sure the Republic's most powerful weapons wouldn't fall into the wrong hands. Uh. As for the price... Those Iron Cavalries weren't exactly seen as regular, independent humans, so there wasn't really a price to be paid. However, you are different. You're now a Stellaron Hunter, a living being named Firefly. Naturally, you want to continue your existence, but with the Firmament Front gone, mm. the people who know the secret and can cure the disease are nowhere to be found. Are you suggesting that the IPC has a remedy? Well, there might be a silver lining. <sighs> say for now. Firefly, please don't make this deal. <laughs> Do not sacrifice anything that's precious to you. I see. It's no wonder you said I can't provide anything of equal value. Because nothing I own holds any meaning. So... You're going to ask me to personally restrain my partners to ensure my own survival? Oh, I didn't even think of that. Betraying the Stellaron Hunters? Ooh. Uh. Unfortunately, that's not quite the case. Okay, so even with their 10 billion bounty, I guess that's not enough. Partners. A nice way to put it. Now I'm even more curious about the Stellaron Hunters. Yeah. Each of you has your own identity and a special bond with each other. It's strong and intimate, and yet it allows for independence. Just as the ten stone hearts follow Diamond, you follow your own leader. Mm. I wonder what they are like, and if all Stellaron Hunters are like you. Traveling on the path of finality, but oh. struggling against your destiny. Attempting to move in the opposite direction. Is that a confirmation? That's confirmation, isn't it? <laughs> oh shit, no. Okay. okay. The Stellar Hunters are following the path of finality, okay. Yeah, I think for the longest time we never knew what path they followed, but finality, okay. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Hmm. I really hope that one day. 
All of you will come and visit my pawn shop. I'll be waiting patiently for that day. Can I see this as an invitation? From Diamond to the Stellaron Hunters while keeping the IPC in the dark? Consider it more of a personal offer from myself. It doesn't represent the IPC or the Strategic Investment Department. The Stellaron Hunters have interacted with the IPC, but not the Ten Stonehearts. Our paths have never crossed. Mm -hmm. As for your offer, I can pass it along to my partners. But I have a question. You know who I am. And you must know that my partner is keeping an eye on this room. If she wanted to, she could let the entirety of Pierpoint know about it within a few mere seconds. What drives you to take such a risk? And extend this invitation on behalf of Diamond. Even if it could lead to your downfall. I mean, true. Dealing, like making a deal with a Salon Hunter, this is uh, a bit of a major offense. <laughs> Simply put, you and I are the same. However, unlike you, Whoa, ho, 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 ho. <gasps> Express, we band together merely to obtain what we want. What a screenshot. Also, is this a tease for the other uh, 10 Stonehearts? That's clearly a Venturine. That's clearly Topaz. Who the fuck are you? Oh, and a little diamond right there. What are you? Are you an Intellectron? Why is there a little gap in your head? Who are you? And who are you, lady? Oh, this is cool. You can see Pearl? Which one's Pearl? It's... I, I can't tell who's who here. <laughs> so wait. So we also have like, yeah, Adventurine, Topaz, Jade, obviously. Diamond, I'm assuming... It, is this one Diamond? No, it can't be. I feel like it's gotta be the literal Diamond right here. The one, the antenna. That's Pearl? Oh. Some say the ones with the gun is Opal. Interesting, holy uh, yeah, this 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 is like a like an official teaser right here for the future ten stone hearts. As for the genders, they are four women and five men. I think Yeah, this guy this one's clearly a guy. You are clearly a guy. You're clearly a guy. You I don't know. These two are clearly women. Yeah, I'm not sure I can't tell if this is a guy or a girl. I mean, I. This looks like a tit to me, but I'm not so sure. Interesting. Each of us has our own path. That's a cool fucking shot, this. too, by the way. And on this journey, we have been invited by Diamond to join him. This journey could be either brief or long, as each of us carries a void in our hearts. Or yeah, Obsidian as well. It's gotta be one of these guys too. Diamond made us a promise to divide the power of the Emanator of Preservation into ten pieces and give each of us a cornerstone to fill that void. Mortal flesh is fragile, yet my heart is unyielding like the monolith. For without this resolve, the way of preservation would fade into oblivion. So, you understand? This pledge goes beyond a mere oath. It's our collateral in exchange for opportunities wealth, survival, and whatever we gain from- Oh, and a future. I, I didn't mean to skip that part, sorry. Return, allowing us to achieve the great cause of the preservation when the war among the eons eventually comes. Huh. When the war among the eons eventually comes? Ugh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> I understand. Take your time, child. You don't need to give me an immediate answer. Like I said, patience is one of my greatest strengths. Fisher's in the back. If fate turns the page, it, it did kind of look like Fisher's hair, so I'm not gonna lie. Again. It's a shame, though, that this pawn shop can't give me what I desire. My last attempt in Penicone. 
Well, it ends with hope. Oh. Lady, uh, I've come to deliver the collaterals promised. Oh, he's delivering his memory. Whoop, ripped to that guy. Up oh, and Turns returning out, to me. Needing to decide the future of Peniconi went much smoother than expected. With little debate. The Charmony Festival Interesting, though. ceremony is starting soon. I should head down and take a look. Yeah, now Firefly's gonna pass that message to like the rest of Celeron to crew. Who knows if any of them will take up Jade's offer. Also, yeah, the teasers for like the other 10 stone hearts was fucking cool as well. This Man. has quite a few treasures. A bountiful harvest. <laughs> can I actually walk up here? Oh my god, I can. Holy shit. <laughs> you stand motionless at the ship's bow, gazing towards the distance, feeling the flow of wind, and imagine yourself sowing freely through the covers of the clouds, until a fierce uh, billow messes up your gray hair, snapping out of your daydream. Recall a classic Pentaconian romance film, where you're... you and a kid... <laughs> Titanic right here. <laughs> Where a kindred kept Kevin companion is standing beside you, promising that if you jump, I'll jump too. Would jumping off the edge plop you right into in front of Miss Robin and Miss Sunday or Mrs. Sunday? You can recall the first time you dived into the dream, how you plummeted into the golden hour. You can't help but smile. Yep, but my heart will go on. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Complete Titanic reference right there. Oh, I love this game. <laughs> Going my way. Encounter the Astro Express unexpectedly. As Firefly run into the Express crew. Yeah, okay. That's that achievement. Use a telescope and look into the distance from the bow of the Radiant Feldspar. <laughs> I love this game and its references. Oh, it's so good. I didn't even know we could walk up here <laughs> until like I saw Stell do it. Uh, okay, optional chat with the with the guests. Hey, Boot Hill Aventurine. Hey, if, well, if it ain't the Oshwato Snyder Hunters, yo. Remember, I can take you out with just one shot whenever I choose. <laughs> oh, that'd be my honor. <laughs> Don't worry, I hate cheating at the table. <laughs> you better. Ah, look who's here. Hello. The great hero of the Astral Express. The most dazzling trailblazer in all of Penacony. Oh, you're here too. Long time no see, friend. Long time no see. <laughs> what are you whispering about? Do you always compliment everyone you meet, Aventurine? Why are you on the IPC screen? Uh, side now, cowboy. <laughs> this fella is also tracking down that son of a gun. What's that saying again? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Let's set aside those under the table dealings for now, partner. Don't want to spoil the festive mood of the Charmony Festival. Oh, I agree. <laughs> now let's congratulate Miss Trailblazer. I hear the family intends to thank the crew at the Charmony Festival. It's a real pity I can't personally be there. A real pity indeed. Come on, Aventurine. Why can't you be here? <laughs> uh, you should have left in a hurry, Aventurine. Well, my job was just to give the IPC an opening. Other things aside, I think I did a pretty good job at achieving this. While you were at Dream Flux Reef, we were actually close by. Oh. We wouldn't have been able to dig up so much dirty information without the help of an eligible but that emanator didn't pull any punches. <laughs> My body couldn't hold out too long. Otherwise, this would have been settled in a much cleaner manner. I'd like to thank you for all your help in the battle, cowboy. No problem. And punishing the wicked and eradicating evil is a top priority. It would have been strange if we sat it out. Making an entrance like that, us Galaxy Rangers are making a comeback. Reckon you'll meet quite a few followers of the hunt on your journey. 
Do me a favor. Uh, Pass on my regards, will you? Well, funny you say that. I've encountered actually a whole bunch of followers of the hunt, and probably will <laughs> encounter a few more in the next few patches. <laughs> uh, what are you guys chatting about? Forget it. I'm not one to beat around the bush. Yeah. Uh -huh. I've got a score to settle with a high-ranking executive fella named Oswaldo Schneider. And this flamboyant fella here can help me find him. Uh, the feud between the marketing development department and the strategic investment department is well known across the cosmos. But what I didn't expect was the involvement of the Galaxy Rangers in this feud. <laughs> oh yeah, that's another thing too. Aventurine, <laughs> the Aventurine stone broke. So, uh, Diamond's gonna have a few words for you. <laughs> Looks like things are about to get spicy. Yeah, spicy. <laughs> uh, well, I hope you guys have fun at the festival. Thank you. I also hope you enjoy yourself, great hero of Pinaconi. <laughs> I'll pass. But I do hope you guys have fun. <laughs> if you don't mind, let's play a few rounds next time. No thanks, I'd rather not lose. Just saying. It's time to let down our hair and enjoy ourselves on days like this. I hope you can enjoy yourself to the fullest, oh great hero of Pentacone. And I wish you the best of luck to Boot Hill of the Boot of the Hill. Hey, okay, we're I, I think we're meeting of like all sorts of companions here. Yep, Dr. Ratio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am aware Boot Hill's the father, and the IPC kind of ruined that, so. Yeah, fuck him. Hey, Senor Ratio, what you doing? Ah, yes. I remember you. Your performance at Herta's space station was. adequate, I suppose. Oh, come on. Would a kill you give a compliment? Hmm. No wonder that gambler likes you so much. <laughs> I didn't know you were here too. You know, do you know Venturine? Can I please get you auto autograph, Dr. Ratio? Don't try to emulate that gambler's penchant for attempting to be overly clever. I'll let it go this time, but this won't happen again. Oh, come on, I'm genuinely asking you. Very well. The Charm Money Festival is about to commence soon. Uh, take advantage of this unique opportunity. The blend of work and play is essential for superior knowledge absorption. How do you rate Aventurine? <laughs> the executives of the IPC and the guild say that we are strategic partners. Oh, yeah. And yet, from my perspective, I am invariably the teacher, and he, along with you and every other individual, is the student. And uh, from the player's perspective, uh, you guys are a gay couple. <laughs> One I know many people ship heavily. <laughs> from this perspective, Aventurine isn't what you call an ideal student. Yet, he's also not utterly obtuse. Alas, the void within him can never be filled by talent and knowledge. Uh, let's hope he doesn't turn into a philosophical zombie. I'm gonna tell Aventurine he's had all this. <laughs> uh, I thought you were going to make me get my act together. Ah, saying such a thing merely indicates that you have not truly grasped the essence of learning. Yes. <laughs> the principle of balancing work and relaxation is scientifically grounded with the relevant proof process detailed on page 21 of the 31,467th issue Good Lord. of the academic journal Star Caesar. Those numbers Acquiring already make my head hurt. <laughs> aims to enhance living. Don't invert priorities like those dolts at the guild. Well, I hope you had fun at the festival. <laughs> then you'll excuse me. All right, have fun there with uh, the Divergent Universe or whatever you're doing over there. Uh, okay, let's look around a bit more. I'm assuming we're gonna ha encounter, like, the rest of the crew here. Like, maybe Robin, Acheron, Black Swan, and, and the like. And Firefly, too, hopefully. <laughs> Find a see wait for the opening of the Tromony Festival. Oh, okay, Topaz is right there, too. Of course she would be. Yeah, let's go say hi to her. Yo! <laughs> and now he's on the table as well. <laughs> Well, if it isn't my old friend, it hasn't been long, and yet here we are again. <laughs> How are you? Yank. <laughs> Good to see you too, Numphy. Life is as wonderful as ever. I'm dead tired. I'm in the mood for a job change. <laughs> hmm? So direct. 
Aren't you afraid I might take you seriously? <sighs> Thinking about it though, the lives of the nameless are so excessively exciting. I heard you guys pulled off a big stunt, cutting down the Oak family in one fell swoop. <sighs> if one day you're tired and looking for a change in work environment, or you want a desk job, just contact me. <laughs> Look how bustling this ship is. Not bad. Someday when I'm less tied up, I plan to host a grand party on my eco ship, and you'll all be on the guest list. I want to ask you a question about that transform. Are you also able to transform yourself? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you uh, transform just like Aventurine did? Transform? What are you saying? You know the 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 the, the, the stone heart thing, the the topaz stone. Oh, I I understand now. Yeah, the cornerstone, You're right? You're referring to Aventurine's cornerstone, right? <sighs> Sorry, compared to him, my oh. ability is not as. Visual. Oh, damn it. I was hoping for like a super topaz at some point. Guess there is no harm telling you. The abilities of the ten stone hearts as cornerstones are all different. Oh, some okay. Some can even read your thoughts, grasp your desires. Ooh. So, be careful. So that's what Jade means by granting other people's wishes. Okay, she's using the stone heart power. Okay. The, the cornerstone power, I mean. Damn it, though. <laughs> so I was really, really much hoping that all the Ten Stone Hearts uh, have like a transformation of sorts. Now nah, I guess it's just a Venturine and maybe a few others here and there. Uh, now that I think about it, it was good that Branya got there when she didn't Bellabog. <laughs> if she came any later, we probably wouldn't have ended up as friends. <laughs> Look how bustling this ship is. Not bad. Someday, when I'm less tied up, I plan to host a grand party on my eco ship, <laughs> and you'll all be on the guest list. I look forward to that day when it comes. <laughs> okay, um, there's two openings here. I guess I can go say hi to Jade, even though we haven't canonically met yet. Yep, there she is. Hang on, let me go grab your ship real quick. Yo. Welcome to the Bona Jade Exchange. Oh yeah, this is like technically our first time meeting. What should I call you? Uh, my name's Space Edge. My name is March 7th. My name is Sunday. Uh, I want to see what she says when we say Sunday. Hmm. Not a bad name. <laughs> Just lacking in virtue. So, Miss Sunday. <laughs> what do you wish for? And what are you willing to sacrifice for it? Uh, I want a bigger baseball bat. Make Nanook bow down to me. I want to be, I want to be the CEO of the IPC. Revive Akibili. Uh, make Nanook. I want to say. I want to say this. Oh, this is your wish. Lady Bonajay doesn't even blink. You're guessing she doesn't have any sense of humor. Sounds simple enough. Very pragmatic. Then, let's discuss the cost. Nope, actually, I'm good. I'm listening. I'm listening. No way. See, endgame already? <laughs> I wouldn't be too worried. To fulfill this wish, the thing I need is simple. The tail of an animal. What the? That simple? That sounds easy enough. Wait, what animal? Well. It's a two-legged animal, with black fur, a round head, and long ears. It's omnivorous and is prone to mood swings. Wait. <laughs> Wait a it minute. It the human language and can communicate. Elio? You want me to hunt Elio down and cut off his tail? <laughs> oh, well, fuck. Uh, hey, Kafka, can I, um... <laughs> Yo, 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 Kafka, Kafka, can I, uh, can I talk to Elio for a spell? I kind of need something from him, you know? <laughs> he means us? Wait, us? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, pom pom! I forgot. I thought she was talking about a cat. No, no, no. You're not. You actually, we no. Mm, your 
pom 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 pom. Can you provide me with your tail? Pom pom. Can you please? Um, I I I kind of need uh I I, I kind of need uh yeah you know you understand right? <laughs> Bring its tail to me as collateral, and your dreams will come true. Yeah, I thought raccoon as well, but that wouldn't make sense. We're not actually a raccoon. You see that Lady Bonaji, it's not without a sense of humor. You have to admit, her skill in using dark humor spheres is yours. Hopefully, there are scissors on the express. May fate bring us together again. Ex fucking excuse me, Cell? <laughs> Hopefully, there are scissors aboard the express. Mystery. <laughs> Miss Trailblazer, yeah. <laughs> Wait, I didn't actually tell you my name, though. <laughs> May fate bring us together again. Miss Trailblazer. Lady Bonaji stares at you, seemingly piercing through all your desires and thoughts. Hey, Pom Pom, can I uh, get a... <laughs> can I actually go here? I mean, I can always TP back, right? So... Yo, Pom Pom, I got, I got, <laughs> I got something to ask you. Uh, what's weighing in your mind? Um... Damn it! I can't actually ask him <laughs> to give him <laughs> to give uh, to give his tail to me. Well, fuck. Well, I guess I'll just go back then. Let me stay here a little longer in this body. Oh, oh, that was okay. That's damn. <laughs> that that voice line is actually kind of sad. Actually, yeah, I'll, let me go back and talk to Dr. Ratio. I forgot to speak with him, to speak with him again after conversing. <sighs> I detest noisy gatherings <laughs> as they intrude upon my thoughts. What a waste of time. Damn it. Looks like, uh, looks like I can get my shit then. Now that's Pom Pom like consents to me cutting uh, his tail off. All right, let's uh, find that one last guest of ours and then prepare for the Chomity Festival. What Who's going to be, though? If I had to guess, it's probably Firefly, Acheron, or Swan, or Robin. One of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not on... <laughs> not who else I expect... <laughs> what? <laughs> Argenti? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, was legit not expecting you here. Not again. Fucking hell. God damn it. Could they not have... Was Argenti's English VA not available? Because, like, what's happening? It's happened for, like, two updates in a row now. Yeah, in the, in the, in in two point two, the, the Argenti boss fight was not voiced either. Ah, oh, bro, did the harmony take away your voice, Argenti? Uh, we meet again, dear friend. Your journey of the beauty is even more elegant than mine. My most sincere regards to you. They said it was a bug. Hopefully, they fix this bug soon. Uh, sincere regards to you too, dear friend. You flatter me too much. Will I? When will I be able to unlock a new path? Then? <laughs> unlock, an eloquent and picturesque choice of words. Yet you have already set forth on the path of beauty. I've heard of your valiant deed in leading others to vanquish the um the omen of evil. Though the tale bears a tinge of regrets, you have undoubtedly championed beauty and justice. May Jula smile upon you. The Omen of Evil. If an admirer of the beauty gets lost in the pursuit of power, they risk descending into the Omen of Evil, a form which is neither human nor beast. Although Mr. Sunday did not cross paths to the path of the beauty, his actions were no different from the Omen of Evil. The, um, the Omen of Evil. A lamentable soul lost on the path of righteousness. Truly a matter of deep regret. Why are we not there during the final battle? I'm ashamed to admit... Ina's dream was too realistic. I couldn't bear to bid farewell to a fallen friend who had turned, who had long turned into a beast. I lingered in that illusory dream for far too long. Ah, his voice and smile were too vivid. I didn't pass the trial of beauty this time, spending much time in self-reflection over my own hesitation. Yet I wish for Drilla to remain my beacon, a banner for me to strengthen and determine my determination for the beauty. 
Well, I hope you have fun at the festival. Thank you, and may the beauty always be with you. Also, I hear Birdie nearby. I'm not sure where it is, though. Thank you, and may the beauty be... Uh, may the beauty always be with you. Real quick. Is this voice in Japanese? Language. Oh, psh. Uh, I guess I won't find out. Five gigs is a lot. Can I actually download, download that quickly? No, that, 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 takes, that, that, that would take way too long. I'm not going to just sit here and wait for the Japanese uh, voice files to download. It's on all languages except for English. Yeah, hopefully they, they fix that soon. I'm getting sick uh, of, like, Argentina not being voiced in any of these uh, main story scenes. What happened to Penacoli? The Charmony Festival has really... Starting to think Emily's onto something? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean by that? Does Emily... Like, like what? <laughs> Emily is a uh, Clara's VA, you know? Yeah, what do you mean by that? Anyways, it seems that we got all our friends here. I'm surprised neither Akron nor Swan showed up. I guess, yeah, Robin will be preparing for the festival, and Firefly we can't exactly meet just yet. But I guess uh, without further ado, let's go begin the Chamity Festival. Let's do this. The festival hasn't started. Let's take a quick break. Hi, we meet again. Hey, there she is. Who's that? <laughs> you know who, you know damn well who that is. It's really you. I knew I didn't get the wrong person. You saw me? You mistook me for someone else? <laughs> it was you. I saw you opening treasure chests, hitting balloons, and playing dreamy slots. I don't think I'm mistaken, right? Um, yeah, um, uh, uh that was not me. <laughs> that was not me. <laughs> she basically joked that the VAs are being invited aside for those who did physical characters, like Clara, Luca, and... What gives? Even Sappo was in keeping up with Star Rail. True. There's still some time before the Charmony Festival starts. Do you want to chat? Hell yeah. You walk and talk of Firefly, stopping in and tracks when more comes into view. Some murder cases, a showdown with the IPC's ambassadors, the legacy of the nameless, <laughs> and a remnant of the Order who wishes to replace an eon-created paradise with a dream. Yeah. You guys even ended up shattering the dream. <laughs> it's truly been quite a vacation. Truly quite the trailblazing ex expedition. It's a good thing that you guys managed to overcome all those difficult problems. Congratulations! After the Charmony Festival's opening, will you guys be leaving again? I don't know what our next destination will be. I'm not sure if I'll we'll be able to depart smoothly. <laughs> there will always be somewhere. Yep, yeah, true. After all, you guys are on the path of the Trailblaze. Before joining the Stellaron Hunters, Elio told me that this journey will tell me how to live on. That's all he said. As for the rest, it's up to me to find out. So... I'll pay extra attention to any leads that will let me live on. <laughs> this trip to Pentagoni is no different. No wonder you were interested in investigating the Watchmaker. Looks like you didn't get what he wanted this time. Uh, I'll say the first one. Yes. Sadly, I was looking in the wrong place. But I did reap some rewards. Do you know Miss Jade from the IPC's Strategic Investment Department? Oh yeah, I met her. Anna Jade Exchange belongs to her. Yeah, she said I could be the CEO of the IPC by just cutting out Pom Pom's tail. She told me her price, but... Did you take the deal? Don't take the deal. Those P IPC people may have altered your motives. Don't take it! I know. But what she wanted wasn't my answer either. Of course, I want to live on. But... What fate owes me... I want it paid back. Not passed on. No one else should be involved because this is a grudge between me and fate. Speaking of which... Actually... 
I feel that I still owe you a formal apology for... that matter with the performer of the Iris family. Oh, that? Yeah, I'm, I'm way over that at that point. <laughs> Even the smallest of lies can turn into a betrayal as sharp as a blade. I'm sorry. I never felt hurt by this. No problem, we've already apologized. You should have lied to me in the beginning. I never felt hurt by this. Really? Then it seems what Kafka taught me was correct. Yep, <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> to me, hiding is much easier than being honest. Yet, I still want to try expressing my emotions as any ordinary person would. It's that girl! Uh, Get moving! Arrest that criminal before the Charmony Festival's opening ceremony starts! Oh, fuck! God damn it! I can't believe they've chased me this far! Looks like we have to say our goodbyes. Don't worry about me, just go and enjoy the ceremony! God damn it! Uh, uh, why can't I fight them off myself? The script hasn't reached its end yet. We will meet again. Okay, bye. Ah, God damn it. Now she has to miss out on the performance. Okay. But if it's only those two hounds again, <laughs> she'll probably be fine. Yeah, those idiots don't stand a chance against her Sam armor. I'll send a message later to check in on her. Let's go attend the Charmony Festival first. All right, find a seat and wait for the opening of the Charmony Festival. Let's do Let's this. Let's take a seat here. <sighs> Everything is settled. But there's still some time left. Maybe I should take a walk. Uh, hmm. Yeah, there's no bonus stuff left to see, right? I think I, I've talked to everybody at this point, so. There's really no point in uh, de delaying the festival any longer, right? Yeah, I think so. Let's just go wait for the festival to begin. Ugh, forget it. I've done enough walking around already. Let's take a seat and rest for a while. Up, oh, speaking of Firefly. It's me, Firefly. I got it all handled. Don't worry, I didn't do anything rash. I've hidden myself away. It's a pity I won't be able to see Miss Robin perform. Oh, I like that little Firefly emoji. Hmm? Looks like I don't have to worry about her. Let's wait for the opening ceremony to start. Oh boy, uh, Sparkle's definitely gonna do something when the festival begins. Oh god, marry me at the nerd. Hey yo, calm down. Alright, it's about to begin. Are we gonna get again a new song here? Fellow family members, ladies, gentlemen, and friends from all over the cosmos. It's a pleasure to join you all in celebrating the grandest ceremony of the Amber Era, the Charmony Festival. Firstly, on behalf of the Penacuni family's five major lineages, and on behalf of myself, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to all our guests. Yeah, uh, not on behalf of your brother. Uh, I mean, fair enough, he, he's still being judged. As you all may have noticed, this year's Charmony Festival is far from regular. Thanks to the efforts of everyone, the celebration is unprecedented in scale, with factions from across the cosmos in attendance. Not only that, the customary opening ceremony held at the Penacony Grand Theater has now moved to the Radiant Feldspar, the very airship you all stand upon. We invite you to express your warmest applause and deepest appreciation for O.T. Alfalfa, head of the Alfalfa family, for his selfless devotion to the Harmony's cause. Yeah, selfless, in quotation marks. Also, hey, why is it just me and March here? <laughs> what makes this festival so uniquely significant? As is widely known, the Radiant Feldspar had to halt its voyage due to an anomaly in the Sweet Dream, sparking widespread discussion in the Twelve Hours. Thanks to the hard work of Penacony's internal and external factions, we've finally gotten the Dreamscape back on track, just in time for the Charmony Festival. And as they say, good things come in pairs. The Charmony Festival not only celebrates this achievement, 
but also marks the relaunch of the Radiant Feldspar. And finally, the last reason. Does everyone remember the Watchmaker? In truth, the family has poured their efforts into this festival, just to commemorate this legendary luminary, the father of Penacony, Mikhail Karlekwerk, yep. One of the legendary nameless who laid the foundations of Penacony. In the most bewildering times of the planet of festivities, it was he who descended from the sky with his companions, who taught us through trailblazing where freedom lies. It was also they who led the vanguard in the pioneering of the dreamscape, in exchange for what is now known as the Paradise of Harmony. It can be said that Penacony's splendid success today is deeply rooted in the trailblazing ethos the Watchmaker planted within us. Only by honoring this trailblazing spirit can we fulfill our mission and spread harmony to a broader audience. Yeah! Aww, that's so nice of her. She's talking about us. <laughs> we haven't even been mentioned yet. Our trailblazing spirit is unparalleled. The Express crew would have disbanded long ago if it weren't for you. Our trailblazing spirit is unparalleled. Wait. Oh, am I saying this in March? Sure, why not? <laughs> Give her a compliment every now and then. <laughs> Obviously. Wait, why does that seem so ominous? <laughs> and now, the sweet dream is back on track. All thanks to the Trailblaze, of course. If it weren't for everyone on the Astral Express, we wouldn't be able to successfully host this Charmony Festival. Thus, with unanimous consent from the five major lineages, Penacony's family, on behalf of all family members throughout the cosmos, offer a token of appreciation to the nameless. Oh, I wonder if it's gonna be a big one! Well, what's the token of appreciation? <laughs> we will transfer ownership of the Radiant Belt Spar to oh, the shit. Astral Express. What? A meager appreciation that we hope you will accept with grace. The, the ship is ours? Hello? Oh, shit. Let us gift our applause and cheers to these brave and dauntless nameless. Hell yeah, we own this ship now. Let's go. Nameless, nameless, nameless. And now I propose a toast to Harmony, to the Trailblaze, to the future of Penacony and the universe. And to the generous Alfalfa family head, Mr. O.T. Alfalfa. Cheers! Cheers! And <laughs> cheers to the free ship we get! Holy shit! Alright! Yeah! Cheers. Oh! Performance? <laughs> <sighs> to make a decision like that. This little bird is no less capable than her brother. Oh, it was Robin's decision. Okay. Okay, Sparkle. But have you forgotten someone, my gray-haired friend? Oh no. I put a bomb on the Oh no. You have ten minutes to find it. Better her. Uh oh. When did this get shoved into me? Oh god damn it, Sparkle! Way to ruin the fucking surprise. God damn it. There's still so many bombs. Now's not the time for plot twists. I can't handle this alone. Time to create a group and inform everyone. Uh, report the situation about the bomb. One, 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 one. We got problem, friends. There's a matching neutron aboard the, aboard the ship. What's happening? It's all thanks to that mass fool. From where to view fireworks. Miss Sparkle, explain the situation personally. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> How'd you get to the group? Explain. Turn yourself in, huh? How dare you share yourself in this group? Time for us to teach you a lesson. Sure, then come through the internet to try and catch me. Alright, down to business. Is everyone flabbergasted yet? Where Miss Sparkle's buns are all confiscated already? Why is their bomb timer still active? Actually, all credit goes to our brave hounds. Our... Hang on, I, I need to read that. Right. Boot Hill? What? Okay. What the fridge is wrong with you? 
Do not be cross, my silver cowboy. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta read this again. Actually, all credit goes to our brave hounds. Thanks to their meticulous efforts in gathering all the buns, Miss Sparkle was able to press all of them one by one. Miss Sparkle certainly worked her finger to the bone, pressing through a whopping 100,000 buns. She spent a whole 48 system hours on it. <laughs> Why would she spend that much time? Oh yeah, guns and roses right here. Uh, that sure is hard work. <laughs> all the other things you could have done with this level of patience. Your appreciation is, is received. Of course, it was still down to Miss Sparkle's luck. I don't know why, but there was a total of 16,000 dream chases how uh, Mistress Sparkle bear her burden. Girls who like, who like... Okay. Anyways, Miss Sparkle place a cruise sit among 99 dolls. Your bright eyed people will surely find the, the real bond where it's hidden. Good luck. How many? Don't panic. We'll deal with this together. Everyone, please don't make an... Any commotion to cause unnecessary panic. I'll arrange the family members to, to prep evac, but we still have to rely on you all to find and defuse the bomb. The Oak family has always relied on the strength of the Order to guarantee that death never occurs in dreams, but the blessings of the Order are now lost. It's, in it's a consequence that are maybe unimaginably detrimental. I agree. If anyone else finds anything, please update the group promptly. The beauty is duty bound. The IPC will land our aid too. Don't worry, everyone. Want to bet who will survive this? Okay. <laughs> what? Dr. Ratios left the chat! Bitch, help us! God damn it! <laughs> what? Wanna bet on who will survive this? Dr. Ratios just K. Let's go! All set. Let's start following the plan. Of course, and, and also fucking Sparkles theme playing in the background. Ah, way to ruin the surprise. Oh my god, I actually had to find all 999 of them. Okay. Fuck. Uh, okay, it's located... Okay, so where are we right now? We're at... Okay, we need to, like, flip the map on its side here. Well, one of them should be, like, right here, I believe. No, 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 like deeper. Okay, deeper in, actually. Oh, uh, we don't know. It should be right here, should it not? Yeah, like right around here. There should be a bomb site. Wait, there's one of them. Can I keep one? <laughs> You're not very good at character design, then. Are you? Bob, the playable characters now? Great, gray hair little one. So, <laughs> am I great or little? <laughs> yes. Oh god. Uh oh. Uh, where's three? Where's two? <laughs> okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> the constable doll finally falls silent. You open it up, well, like tear it apart. Dude, that sounds no, that sounds cruel. And it uncovers true nature. A mere toy cut with a remote speaker. I guess you're not even a bomb. Oh hey, Swan's here too. This proc is with the bomb situation. I got good news and bad news. Which one would you like first? You're in here too? <laughs> <laughs> Simply put, I found uh, one th 131 bombs that are not real bombs. That mass fool really knows how to pull a stunt. Don't worry, process of elimination is also a problem solving tactic. The evacuation of the family is underway here. The bloodhounds are hot on the investigative trail. Keep it up, everyone. At least I made some progress. I gotta keep working at it. Yes, Porco can't count, confirmed. Um, okay, there should be one down here on the bottom of this, uh, ship here. Oh, I see it. This firmware doll is a Sparkle look-alike. According to the book, compilation of Sparkle vocabulary in modern and com- com Contemporary times. The term firmer was first coined in 2005 AE on a sparkle planet in the sparkle star system. Its original meaning is fluffy. Nowadays, the inhabitants of the sparkle planet often use firmer, specifically to refer to plush dolls. In other words, firmer doll refers to fluffy 
fluffy doll, 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 doll. It may sound peculiar, but considering it's Sparkle Origin, it actually makes a lot of sense. This former doll is staring at you right now. Can I dismantle your bomb? Stare back. The former doll continues to stare right at you. Can you speak, please? Can you stare, continue to stare back? The former doll's eyes never blink. Honestly, if they did, it would be quite unsettling. Anyways, it's just an ordinary plush toy. Can it? Can you really expect it under a single word? If you don't speak, then your silence equates to consent. Keep staring at it. It must be pointed out that this doll has no suspicions, suspicious features at all. It ex exudes from within an aura befitting of a firmer doll, not that of an imaginary neutron bomb. Which means there's no need to bother it anymore. It makes you, uh, you and the doll appear rather pitiful. It's best to probably put an end to it to this farce. <laughs> uh, Dad Gum Wobaboo, I give up. What's wrong, Super Cowboy? I found 217 talking dolls. Haha. <laughs> Haha. -ha. Ha <laughs> ha! And that's how I got help from the hounds and that man with a plaster head. <laughs> Who knows when we'd find them all if we looked for them ourselves. That's a shame. Knowing that fool's habits, I'm afraid we're gonna have to keep filtering through the wrong answers. Don't fret, the beauty will guide us. <laughs> oh, everyone's just coming together because fucking Sparkle is just trolling everybody. <laughs> Knowing Sparkle, none of these bombs are gonna be real. I'm just saying. Oh, okay, there you are. I just need that, that bomb in hands. You tell me your case relates to the bomb. I need your help in, find, in finding a bomb. It completely slipped my mind. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> what? what are you saying right by now? The doll, the red herring, the bomb, it's you. You were both crime scenes. Uh, I want to go with the joke answer, but I also want to legitimately answer him here. <laughs> just, just a play along. I yeah, sure, the hammer, why not? Wrong no! The hammer is a murder weapon, but these two cases aren't murder cases. Oh, oh, gray hair, gray hair. It's been so long, but you haven't changed at all. I'm sorely disappointed. <laughs> yeah, I love Sparkle as well. Sparkle's such a fucking troll. <laughs> she's so entertaining. <laughs> Which is why I honestly can't be mad that she's interrupting our performance right now. Oh, great. <laughs> Sparkle's voice faded, leaving behind the old doll's body buzzing with white noise. It seems this pitiful doll was transformed into a megaphone by Sparkle. <laughs> okay, what now? <laughs> My friends, I bring sad news. Tell us about it. This trial of beauty is especially dangerous. I found 145 adorable dolls, but uh, thought they were all the fools bombed. Is this really not a trial violation or something? No matter what, please be patient, everyone. I have a feeling that as long as our virtuous patience can persuade Idrila with sincere conviction, even the most difficult of problems will be resolved. Mr. Argenti is right. Everyone, don't let your guard down. Also, we're not gonna acknowledge you both have red hair. Cool. I did not mean to press E, by the way. I pressed that completely an accident. Okay, there's one... There's a few at the... Uh, front of the ship here. 
I keep waiting for the like the bass to drop like in Sparkle's demo. Like na 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 na. Cause that shit slaps honestly. Oh, there's one here. Yo. Hello, lovely actor. You can call me the director doll. <laughs> I often use this name in film credits. If you did know, I'm the one who directed the entire farce in Pentacone. As the leading lady of the show, what did you think? Feel free to share your thoughts. Well, actually, due to the current plot requirements, you're only allowed to say one line. Uh, okay. Please try and resist the urge to share your thoughts. Right now, I just want to defuse the bomb and advance the plot. You're the one who made Sunday a villain? Uh, what about the action scene where Acheron had to escape the family? What about Robin's journey of uncovering the truth? You have way too many storyline transitions. Fuck, all these officers are so good. Uh, sure, what about the action scene about Acheron? Acheron? Who's that? Uh, sure, you should know. Oh wait, no, Sparkle hasn't actually met Akron, has she? Wait, no, 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 no. Sparkle should know who Akron is. She damn attacked her in her demo. In uh, Akron's demo. But don't fret. I've also prepared a gift for you. A dream bubble that has the thrilling life and death moments I shared with this beautiful memo keeper. Oh boy. <laughs> Don't worry, Spark off. already played your story quest. No need to worry about that. The harmless chatterbox plush doll bows affectionately to you, blowing a kiss before bounding away, vanishing into the depths of the cabin with joyful leaps. Wait, you're telling me the dolls can actually move? That's creepy. The IPC Special Investigations team is wrapping up here. We found a total of 329 dolls, but no bomb. Thought I'd update- thought I'd drop this update with you guys. Even you guys can't do something about it? Holy forkin' shirt balls. This is going to be a killer. Don't give up, we're so close to 999. The express crew is also about to be done. Keep up the good work, everyone. I'll be taking over the evac team now. Good luck, everyone. Okay, there should be one more, which is, yep, all the way at the tip of the ship. Ah, Sparkle, what are you doing? Oh. It's not the tip of the ship, it's the conductors. Uh, yeah, the ship here. Right. Hello, I'm a bomb. <laughs> There's still some time before I explode, so you can take a look around first. Oh, for real? Okay, don't mind if I do. I'm here to defuse you. All right, I'll go ahead and have a look around then. Can I just wait here around? Can I wait around here just for a moment? All right, let me go look around. No problem, of course. But if you don't want to go too far, I can also play a soothing tune for you in case you get bored. Now playing Never Give Up, Never Surrender by the trending superstar Ask God damn it. from the Epsilon 12 system. <laughs> you play me a fucking brick roll, why don't you? <laughs> oh, hang on. Hanakoni's family have not purchased the rights to this song. Oh, God damn it, it's copyrighted, damn. <laughs> How about this? I'll recite it for you. Next up, please enjoy a recital of Never Give Up, Never Surrender. Is she actually gonna sing the Rick Roll song? <laughs> Oh, wait, I just got it. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Got to make you understand. Yep. Part of you wants to meet Ask Rickley now. <laughs> Ask Rickley as a playable character of when. Praise Aha! After the utmost tearful exclamation of praise aha comes to pass, all the stuff in the doll's mouth is that lingering echoes of an irritating cassette tape. Turns out it's in a bomb after all, but a vintage tape recorder. <laughs> okay, that's gotta be all, right? Good news! We found the remaining 172 dolls here, but... They're also just dolls. What's going on? That girly full fast one on us? From where to be fireworks is during the chat. Long time to see everyone. <laughs> Miss Sparkle is delighted that everyone is busying themselves over over her. And so she's had me deliver a message. I knew this matter wouldn't be so simple. You've grown some brain cells, gray hair. Miss Sparkle's pleased. 
<laughs> All right, enough jokes. Miss Sparkle says this. This message is super important, so listen up. There's actually a thousand dollars on the rating felt spar to reward everyone's efforts. Miss Sparkle decided to be magnanimous. She give the coordinates of the final doll with the bomb to everyone. This time for a lot of everyone uh, far exceeds the minutes, but let's all try to hurry up. Uh, blah, that's too much uh, dialogue. Hang on, I'm gonna read this. Everyone, don't be misdirected by her appe appalling prank. We'll all gather her at the coordinates. When we catch her, we'll definitely teach her a lesson she won't soon forget. Hang on, let me read here. The time I've allotted everyone uh, far exceeds 10 minutes, but let's all try to hurry up, eh? Something major is going down if you're going... Uh, if you're slow pokes. Ed Robin, I'm sure you don't want everyone to know that the precious... That the family's protection over Pentagon has been rendered useless to you. Hurry up and move out, world-saving heroes. <laughs> okay. Not much time left. I hope I make it. God damn it, Sparkle. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course it had to be like one more we couldn't find. Are we gonna get into a fight here? I'm just guessing. Open! Open quick! Open! Fast! Go! Oh god, yeah, everybody's been driven out. <laughs> oh, wait, there's another one here! Oh, by the laughter! To think you've seen through my disguise this quickly! Honestly, my dear Miss Greyhair, you're just like a ferocious penguin in Madame Susan's bedroom. Are there more around the ship that... Huh? Enough talk, let, let me defuse the bomb. Exactly what have I seen through? Uh, why does she have a palagon in her back room? <laughs> <laughs> You're here because you accepted bribes from the duplicitous and corrupt leader of that Sparkle Gang. The scoundrel who wants to become mayor of Sparkle City. Whoa, what's his music right now? Holy shit. This evil city has gotten corrupted. As the sheriff died, I cannot idly stand by and do nothing. And now, only this imaginary neutron bomb can completely cleanse Sparkle City and your ilk. If you wish to defeat me, You'll have to face off against the Great Sparkle's dogs. They're my fiercely loyal companions, and you'll never defeat them. I was thinking that too. Like B Uncle Parker, like <laughs> Ben Parker, Uncle Ben. <laughs> oh shit! I'm actually getting a fight here. Okay. All right, get him, Sam. <laughs> uh, okay. None of you are actually weak to anything here. In the mood for another beating? <laughs> Alright, what am I doing? Like fire so everything! Like fire fly so a flame! The mood is set for the show begins! <laughs> yeah, that, that's so useful by the way, that you can just get like Sam's ultimate by just using two skills. Although it does really make her like very, very skillful and inefficient. Burm, hundred K. All right, jeez. Okay, gotcha, Sparkle. And more than the ones on the map. Okay. To think I was defeated by the despicable underling of Blazin' Bro. Blazin' Bro. <laughs> The Sheriff Doll lets out a long sigh with its exquisite acting, feigns death. Unfortunately, the imaginary neutron bomb is near, it's best to look elsewhere. Yeah, what's her E1 do again? Does it keep bringing it up? Ah, okay, yeah, that's busted. Hmm. Part of me is considering just looking around the ship to look for more sparkle bombs. Because if there's more than the ones just on the map. I, I don't know why. Just, part of me just wants to, like, look out for the other Sparkle dolls, if there are any. To, uh, like, get bonus dialogue. Uh, I mean, I can't bring up the map anymore. Yeah, wait, how many bonus dolls are there? Or is that, like, the only one? Because I want to look around here for a bit. Uh, what are you doing here? Wait, so you're a bomb? Oh, wait, you're talking. <laughs> there are 998 more dolls that can pack a punch just like me on the radiant feldspar. Please call 
call them back for the golden sparkle tree. I will prepare a worthy gift for your troubles. Tweet! As for that imaginary neutron bomb you want, uh, <laughs> don't interrupt me. I know you never mentioned those three words to me before. <clears throat> well, the bomb isn't here. Tweet! I'm afraid you'll have to look elsewhere for it. Those ones were the only ones? Okay, so I guess I don't need to, like, look for more bombs. That's what the great spark of tree. Forget it. It's mostly <laughs> just some random battle dash that mass fool, like, yeah, dredged up. Okay, uh, if that's the only one, then yeah, I'll get a move on. I, I don't want to delete a story any further here. God damn. <laughs> like, Sparkle, what is, the, what is the meaning of all this? Why? It's just, <laughs> is it just for elation? <laughs> Check in the pool? I guess I'll try and do that. I'll check and check other places too. Uh, pff. Hi. You want? I'll come back for you later. Or should I confront you right now? Oh. I am an eonic intelligence droid head answering machine. Also very likely an imaginary neutron Never mind, this is story related. If you can answer the only question I have for you correctly, you can open up my lid to check if I'm really a bomb or not. If I am. Uh, bring it on. It's not going to be that same Obrillo again, isn't it? You're obviously just a trash can. A person? A human. People. Bugs. Sweet Dream Drew. A trash can. Sparkle! It's Sparkle! <laughs> uh, uh, people? Oh, why? I hate pants. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't expect Spark to play fair, so fair enough. <laughs> Let's improvise. Support. Uh, this should be an easy fight. In the mood for another beating? <laughs> I just need to break him, right? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Indulge yourselves! Alright, get out of here. You pass the child with a trash can doll. As expected, a doll that looks like Sparkle lies at the bottom of the can. Regrettably, it's nothing more than a clump of cotton, devoid of any projectile or uh, grievate firing devices and their combinations. Well, at least I get some items out of that fight, though. Let me check these rooms, too. See if there's a Sparkle doll hidden in those. What's a Healy by doing here? Mimi the Imp Tall. Yeah, there's a lot of bonus dialogue here, surprisingly. I'm gonna look through it all before I pr pr progress forward. Uh, I'm here to defeat Spawn. Have you met somewhere before? You're not even old acquaintance. Yeah, I've been there. Mematic entities, memes, mesmerizing antagonists. <laughs> mesmerizing gifts are fine. <laughs> I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Yes, meme. That's it. They even have forms. I'm good friends with a meme with sharp teeth and claws. It's very interesting in the Sienjo Vidyanara culture. I gave it a Sienjo name and it was delighted. Oh, speaking of which, I should go and look for it. <laughs> Mimi the monster. Mimi the monster. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Why are you just dredging up every single memory I have? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna look around a bit more, see if I can find more Sparkle stuff. I'm gonna guess you are not Sparkle related, I'm just gonna guess you're just a generic old puzzle. At least I hope so. Yeah, there's a shit ton of bonus dialogue here, that, it's surprising, honestly. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do all this in case I do miss it out once I do step through those doors. Uh, well, nothing here other than a uh, thing I can grab. Give me. Let me go upstairs as well, just to be doubly sure. I didn't see this at all. Yeah, it's surprising. Like, cause I was wondering, why is a Healy bus here? <laughs> that did, that just did not seem natural. Yeah, let me look up here too, just to make sure. Doesn't seem like there's anything out of the ordinary here. I hear that. I hear I hear Brody somewhere. Mm, can't find them though. Yeah, and these dream tickers, I don't think I need to do anything with them. Hmm. I tried to interact with this telescope before, but it didn't let me. Okay, there's nothing here. Uh, I'm assuming there's something on the right this time around. Again? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like. Never mind. Welcome to the Radiant Belt, Spartan Good Lady. I'm a dangerous one, and an outlaw who <laughs> despises law and order. May you have a splendid day. Uh, you're pretty polite. I'm guessing you're not a real bomb. You, look, you, you don't look or sound that dangerous. Fork you! <laughs> if you think this isn't intense enough, I don't mind showing you what real danger and madness look like. To be frank, I didn't become an outlaw because I'm a fudging bomb. It's because I'm a fudging owner of an ancient map of curse. <laughs> Sparkle's like fucking a fucking... <laughs> trying to imitate Boot Hill right now. Let's see what you got. Forget it, I live my life too much. Let's see what you got. Fudge, you're more insane than I am. Let me gather my wits. The ritual is ready. Perk up your ears and listen closely to the most ancient, primal fear etched into the very fudging genes of humanity. Blumska, Blumska, <laughs> little sparkles. Blumska, Blumska, little sparkles. <laughs> The striking resemblance to the voice of the legendary Petaconian cartoon character Clocky instantly rings an alarm within you. The profound muscle memory from ancient times prompts you to swing your arms in a wide arc, catapulting the doll into the heavens. If the doll's words just now are not false, then indeed there will be an imaginary neutron bomb exploding at the surface of the golden hour. No need to worry? Eh, won't be so sure about that. Yeah, hold up, hold up. Uh, it seems to be... I feel like we've seen everything so far, except for maybe down here. Yeah, this is like the one room I haven't explored yet. So yeah, let's keep a lookout for some more sparkle, uh, dolls. Oh, wait, no, we, no, we've seen here already, haven't we? Yeah, the sparkle doll, like, on that couch over there. I'm not seeing any more anomalies to sparkle around. Yeah, just to be thorough and just to be sure we don't miss any bonus dialogue. Got Firefly? Hey, congrats to you. Have fun with your uh, mecha waifu. <laughs> okay. Um. Wait, that's Firefly up there. Okay, I do want to uh, go say hi, but at the same time, I'm gonna be on the lookout for more Sparkle dolls, which I don't think there are any of. Yeah, if I miss any along the way, then it is what it is. All right. Uh. Is that a firefly? That it is. And that's a bird I hear. Where is it? Where is this bird? Ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> wait, no. Down here. Oh, wait. These doors are open now. Dangling from the ceiling. Oh. Get out of there. Yeah, hang on, the doors on the bottom are open now, too. I think I want to uh, go down here to see if there's a sparkle doll here. Just in case. Never mind. Just look like just, uh, just this little fella right here. And also this uh, little birdie. How the hell am I supposed to get that balloon all the way down there? Oh, 
<laughs> Wait, Natasha? Wait, Natasha, maybe. Hold up. Let's uh, bring her out here. Fuck. Hey, there we go. Balloons tomorrow, uh, towards tomorrow. There we go. Break the special boss balloon at the Radiant Fels bar. Nice. All right, nice seeing you, Natasha. Now I'm gonna have to bench you again. Sorry. <laughs> Does look like there's any more sparkle stuff around here? Okay, let's not let's not delay things any further. Hey, a firefly. Oh, okay. There's the last sparkle bombs in the water. <laughs> True bomb doll. Okay. How's the bomb situation? You were also summoned by the mass fool? Sparkle, eat my bat! <laughs> That's so mean! I don't wanna attack sp I don't wanna attack Firefly, but <laughs> I gotta see what happens. <laughs> Sparkle, eat my bat! Don't come close! This bomb is very dangerous! And I'm the real Firefly! Oh yeah? Tell me something the real Firefly, but no. Since you're here, I'll just keep it short. Just over half an hour ago, I received a message from an unknown sender and rushed here as soon as I could. 27 minutes, 52 seconds. 27 minutes, 51 seconds. Okay, we have a good 27 minutes to go here, so we can just spend time chatting. The sweet dream has lost the protection of the order. If it were to blow up here, the consequences would be unfathomable. I've scrutinized it for a long time, but the bomb's design is incredibly unique. As if it's been locked by some mysterious path force. Huh. Apart from its creator, I fear no one knows how to deactivate it. Then we'll just have to find that person. Don't panic. There's so many other... Uh, there's so many people on their way. Mommy, you don't want to die. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, there might be another way. Do you still remember? The script said that I will experience death three times in the land of dreams. Oh, this... Is, oh, what? I think this moment heralds the third time. Wait, what's your plan? Like I said earlier, this, now's not the time for plot twists. You may already know that I have no way of evoking dreams. I employ a Stellaron Hunter special method in order to enter dreams instead. This allows me to perform feats that typical dream chasers can't. As long as I can bear the pain of the Memoria pressure, I'll be able to dive into the primal memory zone beyond the dream and extend a lifeline to the Radiant Feldspar. I will take this bomb into the depths of the dreamscape. Oh. As deep as possible where there are no living souls around. That way, at least no one will get hurt. What about you? Can you really make it in time? This matter just can't be left to the Salon Hunters. Can you really make it in time? Don't worry. I believe that this Firefly armor will be enough to take me to where I need to go before the countdown ends. And maybe even make it back safely. Also, I hear the piano in the background. This is our best and most logical course of action. Uh. After all... A long story deserves a happy ending. I have some words to share with you. Though they were spoken to me by Miss Acheron. She said that... The so-called impossible is merely something that is yet to happen. At the moment, there are so many things that seem impossible. But are they really never going to happen? Maybe it's just that the moment to disprove these impossibilities hasn't arrived yet. Whether it be a literal ending, suffering akin to death, or a harrowing deathscape. Before the appointed destination arrives, they are all the same. Yet I can still make myriad choices. I also firmly believe that... That when that moment arrives for us to make a choice, the answer to our end will already be within our hearts. It is not destiny that shapes us, but we who shape destiny. Well. The astral
Celestial Express and the Stellaron Hunters are like uh. light and shadow. We walk on different paths, intertwined, moving forward and growing <gasps> together. Oh shit, the Robin song. Maybe the end is predestined, but it is not today. Things are going too well. Uh. Let's speed up the countdown. Oh, come on, Sparkle. Human life is short. Just like, like fireflies fire to a flame. flame. So if you have an answer in your heart, always remember, don't leave with any regrets. <sighs> oh, please make it back right. right. Don't we? Oh. Please, please don't die, Firefly. Come on. <laughs> oh, it's actually fireworks, of course. <laughs> You care so much about other people's safety. Uh, Why don't you go take a closer look? What's that supposed to mean? You see, oh. everything is possible in this land of dreams. Yeah, fuck you, Sparkle. God damn it. We each came here with our own goals. And oh my god, this is fucking magical as shit. <laughs> It's music as well. The result was a sweet illusion or a bitter reality. <laughs> it was an answer we longed for day and night. Uh. So, why do people choose to slumber? I think it's as you said. Because in the end, we will wake up from our dreams. Man, what a scene. Now that is the perfect ending to Panacone. Oh, hey, Akron. Yeah, we haven't seen you at all. Wait, we switching POVs to Akron now? Oh, yep, we are. When I arrived, I happened to see a child holding it. He said the flowers were prepared by Aunt Jessie. For the watchmaker and the war comrade he'd missed his whole life. Uh, it's cliche. I don't like this. Well, I like it. <laughs> I mean, if anything, I think it deserves to be cliche. Like, come on. <laughs> like, have it be a perfect ending once. Mikhail would place two bunches of flowers here year after year. And after he left, it became three. Your wishes will always be remembered by someone. Now, Panacone, as you hoped, has welcomed the dawn after a long, dark night. The path forward may not be a bed of roses, but at least people are prepared to step forth towards freedom. Tiernan, you can go home now. Well, the Nameless are also preparing for the next stop of their voyage. Oh. Hey. <laughs> but before leaving, we still have one last thing to do. We came to say goodbye to you. We seem we came to say goodbye to Gallagher. We come to say goodbye to the old nameless. Well, to everybody really. A fitting end to the tale of the departed. One could not ask for a better farewell. Go on. They're all here. Yeah, shout you didn't technically lie, and, and this is a wholesome ending. <laughs> Ship of Fools. Say goodbye to Tiernan and Roslina. Say goodbye to Micah. Say goodbye to Gallagher. Let me grab that achievement first things first. Uh, Ship of Fools, add new footnotes to our destiny. Successfully solve, resolve a bomb threat, and watch the grand fireworks. I say we save uh, the Nameless for last. Let's go bid our farewell to Micah first. Oh wait, can CP up there, can't I? Yeah, let me just do that real quick. Is the Astro Express ready to depart Penacony? Apologies, Mr. Mika, that we are only now bidding you farewell. No, oh, Mika? Is that how you pronounce it? I always pronounce it Mika. Oh, it's alright. You've all done so much for the Watchmaker, and 
we are forever indebted. Allow me, as the representative of Dreamflux Reef, to make another toast to all the nameless. What will the people of Dreamflux Reef do now? Many will continue to live here. Those accustomed to being awake will mostly have a hard time getting used to a life of darkness with their eyes closed. Though the order has faded, there must be someone to watch over this primal memory zone. <sighs> Penacone's nights are long, and there are many who are still far from a good night's sleep. As for the sweet dream over there... <sighs> we're still managing without it, aren't we? A toast. Ah. Mika, and residents of Dreamflux Reef, we raise a toast to you. Watchers of the long dream. To your tenacity throughout time, to each sorrowful night, and to the dawn that is finally upon us. To everyone. Okay, now let's head back and uh, bid farewell to Gallagher and the Nameless. Damn, though, what, what a perfect ending to, to this uh, storyline. God, Panacone was so goaded. I can't imagine, like, how good the next, like, Please have Shaoji just continue writing this game, Hoyo. Just, just please keep having Shaoji write these games. God, is it so good. Also, hey, Akron's right here. Let me talk to her. A fitting end to the tale of the departed. <laughs> oh, she says the same things. Okay. Uh, Gelly Boy. That statue. It wasn't here last time. Looks like this is the last riddle that Mr. Gallagher left for us. In the end, we still failed to figure out his true identity, or if he was even a living person. Uh, what should I say? I mean, this guy is definitely a history fictionologist, all right. Right. I'm suddenly reminded of the time at the theme park when he said he was only 13 years old. Could that have meant something too? Uh, either way, he's an... Enigmatic character, for sure. For sure. At least our journey together in Panacone was real enough. And his loyalty and love for this land must have been real too, right? A toast. To Galley Boy. Gallagher, we raise a toast to you, the slumbering hound. To the festival's invitation, to all lies, and the singular truth. If we ever meet again, please don't talk in riddles. Man, I hope we do see Gallagher again. Uh, he was such an awesome character, dude. I, I'm gonna a miss him. End to the tale of okay, you see, it still say the same things. I'm gonna talk to you after everything. Uh, bid farewell to the nameless. Honestly, when I heard the conductor's request. I was pretty surprised. The nameless. Those who trailblaze, doing good deeds but never seeking recognition. After all this time, how would we even find those three people in such a vast place like Penacone? But it seems, in the land of the dreams, anything is indeed possible. History may not remember the names of the dead, but the stars will attest to their journeys. The first glimmer of light in the prolonged night often illuminates little, as it is fleeting and the darkness too vast. But because of this, people will remember. As long as something shines in the night sky, then when the first star falls, countless more will follow, streaking across the horizon. A toast to the nameless of old. Brooklyn Tiernan. Rosalina J. and Estella, we raise a toast to you, trailblazers of the Silver Rail. A toast to history that no longer remains silent. The passionate and courageous pursuit and a voyage that traverses the stars. A toast. I would do the toasting if I had a cup of water here, but I don't. But this will do. <laughs> yep, and last but not least, give a toast to Mikhail. A fitting end to the- Okay, I thought you had, you'd say something different this time around. <laughs> Never mind. Akron has a secret cutscene. 
When you ask, have we met before? Okay. Yeah, you guys are saying there's a secret ending in the comments or in the chat. Um, yeah, just be sure to let me know once we do get up to the part where I can trigger this <laughs> secret cutscene. Because, yeah, I don't want to miss out on it. Oh, wait, I could, I could just TP here. I forgot. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, to Mikhail. Slash Misha. In the end, we still came full circle. This trailblazing expedition started from the moment you and a bellboy ran into each other. After going on a journey of many twists and turns, they still ended up where they started. Just like a clock's hands that turn round and round. The start and end of each day will always land on 12 o'clock. The advent of time moving forward. There shouldn't be much left to say. This entire adventure started because of you, and should naturally end with you. And then, a new page will be turned. A toast to Mikhail Car Legwork. Mikhail Char Legwork. Char. We raise a toast to you. Aris Taurus Car. The land of the dreams, nameless of the Astral Express. To Penaconi's past, present, future, and the child's unwavering dream unto death. A toast. With that, our duty as nameless should be complete, right? The trailblaze can illuminate the way. But ultimately, the future of a world belongs to those who live in it. Uh, I still feel that Mr. Mikhail must have really wanted to witness this day himself. What's on your mind, March? Just mm. a strange feeling. I had it a few stops ago, but it's super strong this time. Why not talk about it? Maybe everyone's thinking the same thing. Yeah. Speak your mind, March. I can't help but think that whether it's Mr. Mikhail, Mr. Tiernan, or Madame Rosalina, their lives must have been long, and they must have experienced plenty of stories. They were also young ones, stumbling and bumbling around just like us, getting into scraps and mischief, that sort of stuff. Companions, enemies, journeys, adventures, all the sad and happy memories. The every day that we're used to, they've lived through them too. But those things are all in the past. I'm a wash away everything, so treasure the present. One day our stories will also be part of the past. You're awfully sentimental today. <laughs> um, time I wash away everything, so treasure the present. I know, but the thing that I can't get out of my mind is the present. It'll be easier to understand if I use an analogy. Like, when you're reading a book, if one of its characters keeps running into obstacles and experiences an ending full of regrets, we're bound to feel a bit mixed about it, right? I can understand, but I feel mixed too. No matter what, that's very hard to accept. You won't be affected as long as you don't live vicariously through them. Yeah, I'll say this. Because we've seen every nook and cranny of their lives. We see these people as special. So, even if there are parts of it that aren't really realistic, nor logical, we still hope that their story gets a good ending when it comes. But, what if they... and we... aren't really that special? When Mr. Mikhail sat in this chair, Waiting for the Astral Express to arrive every day. What was he thinking? And if, at the end of his life, he could still firmly say he had no regrets... Hmm. Then, what is this regret we feel in our hearts right now? Hmm. 
I think each and every one of us is searching for the answer to this very question. The universe is vast, and our lives are but specks. Hmm. The trailblaze never ends. But against the backdrop of the cosmos, the average person's lifelong journey is merely a short stretch. But it is in this minuscule distance that paths cross, and countless worlds connect. The universe may not remember every person who leaves a tie along the silver rail, but we will. As long as we remember, their stories will never end. The trailblaze will never end. And what Mr. McHale has left for us is his answer to this very question. It may not be perfect, but it left a smile on this storied, jaded old nameless's face at the end of his life. And its meaning will be interpreted by those who come after us. It's not the answer that's important, but what we can learn from others' answers, right? This is what trailblazing is. Sure. Uh, I'm really sorry for bringing down the vibe. <laughs> Quick, Don Hung, tell us a dad joke to lighten the mood. <laughs> <laughs> He's not the one to make dad jokes. Come on now. No. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> it's never a bad thing to reflect. One day we'll all have to face our own farewells. <laughs> but before that, we still have a long way ahead of us together. So the most important thing right now is to tell the conductor what we saw in Penacony. Right, we gotta update Pom Pom and everything. Then prepare ourselves for our next trailblazing destination. Can't wait to see whatever, whatever that is in the future. <sighs> I should get back to the Express. Or maybe I could say my final goodbye to Acheron. Oh yeah, definitely. We're saying goodbye to Acheron for sure. Yeah, let's uh, let's go. Let's go bid our ride in Bosonori May a farewell. And yeah, you guys said she has a secret cutscene, apparently. That's like what makes specific dialogue options. We'll be sure to try and trigger that. Yo, Acheron. Hey. Do you still remember when we first arrived in Panacone? Who would have thought our paths would cross in such a way? Who exactly are you? Come to think of it, I didn't even get a chance to formally introduce myself. Simply put, I'm a self-annihilator who was cursed by the Nihility. My hometown was destroyed a long time ago, and the whole world was erased beneath their shadow. In order to fight against the cruel end of self-destruction, I went on a journey in search of a way to sever the chains of the Nihility. After a long and grueling search, I am convinced that my destination lies within the depths of the dark web. The dark the web and the nihility are separate. Mm. In there lurks a secret called Device Nine. Ooh. One day, I'll reach it. Device Nine. Nine is the Eon of Nihility, right? That's his name. The the black hole. Ooh. Will we meet again? The ocean of stars is vast. And given our destinations, I'm afraid our paths may not cross again. But the trailblazing expedition ahead is always full of unknowns. And my blade is sharp enough to sever fate. As long as we maintain our original resolve, I believe there will come a day where we will meet again. And now, he, you said... When we ask when have we met before, choose a first dialogue option multiple times. Okay, we'll do. Have we ever met before? Uh, in that case, I must apologize for my rudeness. Do you remember when we first met? I once said you reminded me of an acquaintance. Because of the self-annihilator's curse, my memories are stripped away, mm. blurring my past. And after our journey together, what I originally thought were familiar feelings were merely illusions. I believe this was truly our first meeting. 
What if it wasn't an illusion? With this as our first meeting, we could consider our next meeting to be a reunion. Yeah, guys, what, what do I pick here? Yeah, you, uh, some of you guys said, like, I triggered, I can trigger a special ending here. The first option? Hmm. First? Okay, we'll, we'll do. What do you mean? It's improbable that you've crossed paths with my past self. What I mean is, there is nothing left to retrace there. Only nihility. I think I've seen someone like you, regardless of the significance we live with the present. Keep picking the first option, right? I think I might have uh, seen someone like you. Ooh, I'm Kiana, reincarnated <laughs> as a different person entirely. Keep going one? Okay, yeah, one. I see. You've also had a similar experience? Then you should know that this me and your memory of me are not the same person. Ooh, but some things will never change, I understand. But some things will never change. <laughs> Hey, there's a smile from Acheron. Wow, I, I, honestly, throughout our, our whole time being with her, I don't think we've ever seen her smile once. Long ago, I too was like you, with irreplaceable companions. We also embarked on journeys, making the best choices we could whenever uh, we could. Tell me more. Unfortunately, we didn't achieve the outcome we wanted. Hmm. But moments like this make me feel like they never even left. In this universe, there exist countless worlds that are similar yet different, and countless people who are alike yet distinct. Wait, this music sounds familiar. I too have wandered alone, encountering acquaintances on strange worlds, Seeing their silhouettes overlap with my past. In your opinion, what does this déjà vu mean? Perhaps it's some sort of sentimental attachment, the wish to return to the past, a longing for a certain someone. Um, I can pick whatever I want here, right? Or do I still have to go with the first option? Honkai Third music again? Yeah, this sounds like it's from Honkai Third. I, I can choose whatever. Or do I keep going with option one? Hmm. Whatever you want? Okay. Hmm. The wish to return to the past, a longing for a certain... I'm gonna say this. A longing for a certain someone. Attachment. Desire. Longing. They may all be right, but they are all incomplete. I believe it's not something external, but something that originates within us. An emotion that traverses time from a certain moment of our past to reach us. Perhaps it's a source of warmth and happiness. Or maybe it brings pain and sorrow. Each time we reminisce on our past, we always seem to notice a tiny but unforgettable instant that we left behind us. Along with certain other things that remain constant throughout. That is a summary of our lives. Encapsulating everything about us in these moments. Proof of our shared path. Mm. Within them, we glimpse our own essence. And thus... We truly exist. Just like everyone in this story. Hurtling onwards along the path of destiny with passion and courage for the things that breathe meaning into their lives. 
set forth on your voyage without hesitation, <laughs> Nameless. On the path of the Trailblaze. Oh, screenshot, hang on. <laughs> Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before that, on the road towards the end, there are still many things that we can do. Oh, yeah, this is like probably one of the first stuff you ever see her truly smiling. Damn. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. This is the meaning of journey. All those things, beautiful before, are still so now. And I believe it will still bloom <gasps> at the end of the nihility. Oh, shit! Until we meet again beneath the sun's rays. Right in May! Ah, <laughs> oh, what a beautiful scene. Yo! <laughs> Hang on, I'm screenshotting that ten times over. Mason Pie. Oh my god. Wow, so if you did not pick the first option three times, you would not have seen this? Wow, jeez. Yeah, she's got her horns and everything. It will still bloom at the end of Nihility until we meet again beneath the sun's rays. Oh, she looks so pretty here as well, and she looks so happy. Oh, it's, uh, man, I feel so bad for her, losing all her friends. Damn. Ah. Uh, and thus, we kick back to the, to the Astro Express. Yeah, I can't believe that. That's a missable scene? Why? Like, like, that's cool and everything that you can just unlock that by... Choosing specific dialogue options, but why? I feel like that, like everybody should see that, not just the people who like pick whatever option they wanted. Man, Raiden Bosun Mori May. Man, to your happiness and back. Uh, okay. Damn, that was a very good secret scene. I thought the secret scene would just been like. A very short one, but no, that was like heavy hitting, man. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm very much glad we got to see her smile for like at least one last time before we departed. Holy crap, that is actually beautiful. Up, but now it's time for us to set off on a new, uh, yeah, on a new journey. To the next planet we go. All oh, right, and tell Pom Pom about the nameless. Oh. There, there. Chin up, Pom Pom. Don't be sad. Oh, don't cry. Wow, your method of consolation is truly unsophisticated. <laughs> Still better than just standing there like a scarecrow. Like, come on, give him a hug or something. What happened? Is March picking on Pom Pom again? How could you say that? Don't be so mean. And while you're here, why don't you help me comfort Pom Pom? We told Pom Pom all about our adventure, and they suddenly started crying. I've never seen Pom Pom so sad before. <laughs> the conductor never cries. No. Pop Pop is sad. Pop Pop is just, just, just angry. Yeah, angry. <laughs> no matter where the express stops, you lot always manage to cause chaos. My well thought out timetable completely ignored. If you carry on like this, the express is gonna run out of fuel. <laughs> That's right. Pop Pop is just. No. <laughs> Can we give him a hug, please? Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, Pom Pom, just let it all out. Everyone, could you all take a break in the next car? Don't worry. I'll stay here with Pom Pom. But 
Let's go, March. Yeah. The bunny needs time alone. It's okay. Oh, Pom Pom, just let it all out. Oh, I, I, I really feel bad for Pom Pom. Uh, to find out like this, it's got to be heartbreaking for her, for them. Also, yeah, I've been addressing Pom Pom as a he this whole time. I, I'm pretty sure Pom Pom's non-binary. Like, yeah, they don't specify their gender. Okay, but yeah, let's discuss with the crew here. I never expected Pom Pom would be so distraught. Those three nameless must have meant a lot to Pom Pom. No one knows exactly when Pom Pom boarded the express, but one can surmise that their journey has been filled with many hellos and goodbyes. Probably more than we can imagine. Oh yeah, Himiko's definitely best mom, yeah. <laughs> As we all know. The fact that they're crying so hard is probably a good sign. It proves that Pom Pom's emotions haven't become dulled by the grind of time. They still deeply cherish every nameless who has boarded the express and value every journey shared with them. Leave it to Himiko. Uh -huh. <laughs> when it comes to comforting, there's no one better on the express. True that. Pom Pom said we might run a fuel. <laughs> Well, they were a little emotional at the time, but I'm afraid that's not out of the question. Since you joined us, the Express has stayed longer than anticipated at every stop along the way. And to ensure that everyone always makes it back on board, Pom Pom has had no choice but to delay the warp jump schedule. Well, sorry, does it? <laughs> I mean, just to coincidentally... Yeah, it's just a coincidence that, that every time I land on a planet, we just have to go on a massive journey. I see. That's not my fault. <laughs> no wonder I can regularly hear Pom Pom pacing anxiously up and down the corridor. Turns out Pom Pom's been silently putting in a lot of work for us. Wow. Different from typical vehicles, the Astral Express converts every trailblaze into the energy it needs to run. Ideally, as long as trailblazing expeditions continue without interruption, the Express will receive a constant flow of energy, much like a perpetual motion machine. But because of our previous encounters, fuel is being used up much faster than expected. Hmm. We can probably only pull off two more warp jumps at most. Can we just refuel or something somewhere? Only two more? At least you'll be an adorable ice cube. Falling leaves must return to her roots. <laughs> At least you'll be an adorable ice cube. When you put it like that, <laughs> it doesn't actually sound too bad. But I don't even want to become an adorable ice cube floating around in space again. Which also means that we must prudently consider our next destination. Yes, uh, I've already checked the astral charts. The two nearest Ooh. worlds to us are the oceanic planet of Lushaka and the agate world Melustanen. Oh yeah, these are plants mentioned before. Do I get to choose? As for which one we're headed to, that still requires a vote. Or perhaps you might consider a suggestion. S a swan? <laughs> of course he followed us on here. <laughs> Hey! Meet again. <laughs> Wait, don't tell me you're actually joining the Express for Reels again. Uh, it's you! Why were you just in my room? <laughs> yeah, what were you doing there? It's a very cute room, Miss March. <laughs> just like you. Black Swan, what are you doing here? I knew we were missing someone. Memo Keeper. Let's put aside how you managed to sneak past everyone and board the Express for now. You mentioned a suggestion. I accidentally overheard how the Express obtains fuel. Yeah. I just wanted to chat with everyone to see if we could work together. But now, it appears my suggestion could be the very lifeline that saves everyone. Yeah, can't Black Swan just teleport? <laughs> like, yeah, she doesn't even need the sneak aboard, does she? 
Please speak candidly. Depending on what you say, we could very well ask you to disembark. Ah, the Permanence's descendant. Uh? What a charming little dragon. Especially with those mired memories of yours. But I digress. If the Astral Express is in urgent need of a special trailblazing expedition to recharge its engine, have you all considered this? Perhaps your destination could be a world that even the renowned Akivili never reached. Where? Should you be able to lay down a new stretch of silver rail, the Express may never have to worry about energy ever again. Trailblazing to a world that even Akivili has never been to? Is that possible? Continue, Memo Keeper. This destination of which you speak, what sort of world is it? Yeah. A world that many across the universe don't even know exists. A world hidden away from outside observation. Its presence only revealed by the light from the mirror of the Garden of Recollection. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what plans we know that could be this. I have the feeling she's going to reveal a planet we don't even we haven't even heard of before. A world fettered by three paths. Three it's paths. Hanging in the balance. Huh. The Eternal Land. Amphorius. Amphorius, the Eternal Land. Ooh. Is that where we're going next? Yeah, I know nothing about this other than the name. Have we heard of Amphorius somewhere else? A, a planet ruled by three paths. That sounds interesting. It's mentioned in the Cosmo... Oh, the... Anniversary event. Ooh. Okay, so that's our next destination. Uh, does it end there? I hope I'm not too late, child. Oh. Uh. <gasps> I wasn't expecting it to be you. Oh, shit. Ah, crap. Sunday's all shackled up again. Well, not again, but you know what I mean. And by Jade, no less. Don't you know how many sentry posts I was wondering where you've been. Built? And how hard it is to get you out of here. <laughs> Looks like my time's up. What do you mean? What time? Negotiation, interrogation, or death. My fate lies entirely in your hands, Lady Bona Jade. The dance is done. Why bother with the compassionate pretense and give someone who's about to die the chance to talk? Oh, shit. Despite your fall from grace, you still look well. I'm very glad to see that you're so full of verve. <sighs> Do not insult my pride with half-veiled sarcasm. Have you specially come to see me, just to sate your vile vanity? Oh, of course not. I merely came to fulfill your younger sister's wishes. To offer you a generous trade. That is, if you're willing to accept. Oh no. She's gonna use a cornerstone, isn't she? Robin. To build a true haven where everyone can attain peace. That's the oath between you siblings, isn't it? If I told you there was still a chance to realize this vow, would you be willing to talk to me then? <laughs> <laughs> I recognize the gravity of this question, which is why you don't have to answer me right now. Go now. You are free, O oh Chosen One, who dare to exceed his bounds. Sever your wings, descend to the mortal realm, and walk their lands. Huh. See what this world is truly like. He's just being let go, just like that? I will not accept your charity. As I mentioned earlier, it's a trade, and you don't have to give me an answer right now. Rewards are not reaped in a day, and if there's one thing I'm best at, it's waiting. 
the sweet dream still continues, and the night is still long. You have plenty of time to contemplate your answer. Ah, a word of advice for you before we part ways. A word of warning from someone who's been in your shoes before. Life is too short to miss out on golden opportunities. Hmm. Stranger in a strange land. Uh, yep, so stay tuned to what uh, to where you're going next. Okay. Hey, and Budo can visit Express now. Sweet. Oh, and Robin too. Who else? Up oh, Sparkle can for some reason. Okay. <laughs> and so can Swan, of course. Hey, Argenti too. Sweet. Ah, but not Acheron, unfortunately. Sweet. Oh, yep, and of course we got all these other uh, things going on now that we're done and everything. Oh god, wait, what's this? Finally, the Sweet Dreams Encore has also reached its end. Everyone, everyone in this little farce, including me, has reached an ending fitting of their contributions. Thank you once again for everything you've done for Panicani. Former ex-surveyor of the Astro Express, Rosalina Jane Estella hereby salutes you. May your trailblazing journey never end. Is it you? Could you still be alive? This the girl's long dream has end has reached its end. No one can respond here anymore. Uh. Oh wow, we get <laughs> we get to like put up all the characters here that we want. Oh even Kakavasha. What sure, I'm gonna do that real quick. Oh, can I even have the sparkle doll up here too? Sure, why the fuck not? <laughs> I can put the trash can up here too. <laughs> Oh, and of course, me. Sure, why the hell not? <laughs> I'll probably organize this all in due time, but... That was a really good ending to the Panicani arc. Man, this arc was absolutely goaded. I, I loved it from beginning to end. Good lord. Yeah, can, can we have Shouty just write the rest of Star Rail from here on out? And, you know, maybe give him a chance at writing Genshin too? I would like that very much, thank you. But okay, ladies and gentlemen, that about concludes our journey in Panicani. And yeah, the end of the Panicani story. Man. What's a goaded finisher? Read the message to all its important context. Wait, what, read, wait, what, what message? Oh, the message that the doll gives. Oh, wait, no, not, okay, I guess not that one. Sure, I must put these ones up here too. Actually, now they're taking up too much space. <laughs> also, the note from Gallagher. Um, where I find those? Tell me, O Muse, decide on upon the next stop of Panicani <laughs> to Amphorius, the Eternal Land. <laughs> okay, that's yes, yeah, sec. We know where we're going next, <laughs> and also what's gonna happen to Sunday. Hmm. <laughs> it's on your phone. Yeah, hang on, let me like change the music here. This is like way too intense for my liking. Actually, let's like Yeah, let's head back aboard the uh about aboard Panicone. Also message jaw. Let's have a look see here. Cool. That feels so cool, don't you think? Me the message jaws initiate a temporary conversation. Wait, more bombs? Please just leave me alone. Cool. Fireworks, cool. Yeah, you're getting the hang of it, aren't you? So are you curious about why Miss Sparkle's doing all this? Uh, do you tell? Explain. <laughs> do you remember the prophesized three deaths? What's that got to do with you? Who knows? All I can say is that someone played a hefty sum to hire Miss Sparkle as the director at Panic County. It seems like it's a friend she made while gaming. The client told Miss Sparkle to make sure the three deaths happen in the safest way possible. In return, they shared their script with Miss Sparkle. And what happens next? Well, smart cookie like you can surely guess, gray hair. However, Miss Sparkle isn't some control freak. She let the actors decide how the story would unfold for themselves. Surprise question, did you press the mutually assured destruction button that Miss Sparkle gave you? Yeah, I did. No, I didn't. I couldn't do it at all. Wait a minute. Did Alio hire Sparkle? So wait, the whole reason Sparkle's even here in Panicani is because of Alio? Huh. Uh, sure, I press a button. Why not? <laughs> yeah, literally mashed it. 
Well, congratulations, you're the one who reshaped the third death. He soared up in the sky and set up the most epic firework Panacani had ever seen, giving a grand finale to this beautiful dream. And she herself was safe and sound, happiest ending ever. So, congrats, Grey Hair. After all, you're the one who made the call and actually saved that Firefly girl. And that means Miss Sparkle will get paid as promised. Oh, by the way, to celebrate your successful grand finale, Miss Sparkle has decided to share another secret of you, Grey Hair. What did you see gossip? Tell me more. You know what? Actually, Dr. Primitive is actually a huge fan of bananas. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, god damn it. No! I wanted to hear more! <laughs> oh, god damn it. Oh, Silver Wolf. Wait, no, was it Silver Wolf or Alio? Akirino could have been Alio, right? Because why would he alter his own script? To make sure the three deaths thing occurred and Sparkle made that happen. I see. So Silver Wolf hired, okay, <laughs> got Sparkle involved. Sparkle said she met them through gaming. I'm assuming Sparkle meant s uh, hired Sparkle. Oh yeah, gaming, Th that's for sure Silver Wolf then. <gasps> oh, you also get the Sparkle doll as a, <laughs> as a profile picture. You know what, fuck it, why not? I'm gonna put that on right now, why not? Uh, there we go, Sparkle doll. Cause why the hell wouldn't I? Gallagher notes also on the table. Oh, there, no left by Gallagher. The new generation of Nameless. By the time you read this, I will likely have gone to where Mikhail went. Thank you for everything you've contributed to Panacone. It's a pity I won't be able to witness it, its rebirth with my own eyes, but your unwavering determination gives me confidence in the future of the planet of festivities. Also, please say sorry to my naughty pet Sleepy on my behalf. It suffers from severe separation anxiety, and it must feel terribly lonely without me. Please release it into the memory zone. That's where a true meme where, where, where meme truly belongs. Life and death are merely parts of fiction on the road of Agnimata. Just like farewells and reunions, I wish you the very best in your journey. As for me, it's time to depart. And close is a gift for you to the imperfect tomorrow. Gallagher. No. Page of past dreams. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's like, it's like an adorable little drawing of uh, Mikhail or, or Misha and Clocky. A boy's graffiti. The strokes are immature, yet time has not worn out the imagery of old dreams even a bit. His faithful companion has put a lot of uh, effort into this. Can I actually full screen that? Oh, no, I can't. But I have to drink as well. That's cute. But okay, folks, that is where I'm going to end off today's stream, everybody. I would like to do some more of this uh, side quest, but unfortunately, it's going to have to be saved for the next stream, which will be tomorrow. And in tomorrow's stream, I plan to start up Divergent Universe and also take a look into the Apocalyptic Shadow uh, new endgame game mode. And also, you know, do the other side quests I've yet to start in Panacone. And yeah, the new uh, area up here at Pentagon. But yeah, absolutely loved the 2.3 Trailblaze mission. I thought it was like one of the greatest. Like, it, it was so good. Beginning, middle, and end. I think, yeah, the story writing was just peak all, all throughout. Not even exaggerating as well. It, this might be the well, the most well-written story I've seen in this game so far. No, and yeah, here's hoping that uh, Shouty continues to write for Star Rail in the future. Because, yeah, he's definitely a good writer, and I can see why everybody praises him so highly. But alrighty, folks, that is where I'm going to end off today's stream, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like on the stream if you did enjoy my reaction. And also, if you want to support the channel and whatnot, be sure to subscribe as well, because I will be doing some more Star Wheel streams in the future, as well as ones of Genshin and maybe Bothering Waves too. And yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know what are your thoughts on the story as a whole. But yeah. I thank you all for sticking with me with my Firefly summons and with the 2.3 Trailblaze mission. And yeah, hope to see you guys again in tomorrow's stream where we uh, yeah dive into the new um, game modes that uh, 2.3 has to give us in Star Rail. But alrighty guys, that is what we're going to take off for tonight everybody. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you guys once more next time in tomorrow's stream. But alrighty guys, it's uh, about time for me to go head off and eat my dinner now. So yeah, take care you guys. Have a good night, and good luck with your Firefly and Jade Poles, all of you. Nice. Actually... Fuck it. Ron May, here I come! <laughs> Let's just do some last minute polls before the stream ends. Uh, nah? Can we get Ron May last second? Nah. 
<laughs> imagine. Imagine that's the case. But okay, I'm not gonna stall you guys any further. Yeah, take care, guys, and have a good night. And see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye! See y'all!